<clears throat> Good evening and welcome to Weekend Update. I'm your host, Eric Farmer. Our top stories tonight in the never ending war on the world population here in the United States. The Senate passed the Inflation Reduction Act and the FBI raids Donald Trump's house. Those were the two big stories this week. But first, a look at the weather. Chilly day here today in the mountains here for the middle of August. We had pretty good thunderstorms this afternoon and yeah the temperature dropped down into the 50s and yep it looks like summer is coming to a end real quick here but you know it doesn't mean that global warming isn't a real thing it's another always a big story every week the climate change crisis all oh, the crisis 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 and the inflation crisis, and they did do something here. They took action, the government, the 750 pages bill, Inflation Reduction Act, which is going to cost, I think, something like over $73 billion dollars hiring 79,000 new IRS agents and arming them to the teeth to help steal from the rich and give to the poor is their stated goal. But yeah, so yeah, that's a bit of what's going on. The inflation, it's interesting. They get these, you know, they get, they, they pass these laws that sound so good. You know, when you read them on, you know, the title of it, Inflation Reduction Act. Doesn't that sound wonderful? It's for the people. It's, it's to help the poor. And they say they state that they're only going to go after people making over four hundred thousand dollars a year. And then I, I guess one of the governments. Oh no, we never said that. <laughs> so, you better have your shit in order, I guess, because it's all your fault. For not paying your taxes and they're coming after you because the poor people in this country need their help mad pieman in the house interesting got the mad pieman here but still i got no viewers it says <laughs> but yeah the inflation reduction act 755 pages you know, a lot of people are saying, yeah, you know, how could they have just, and obviously none of these bills, anybody could ever read them. You think the Congress goes around reading bills that they write? <laughs> it's like reading the, you know, agreement to any kind of, tech device that you get right you got this fucking agreement that's super fine print you know it would take you probably a month to read it and even if you did read it you would never understand what the hell it says because it's all in, written in legalese but basically you know you agree to sell your soul to satan is what it's all about <laughs> but yeah the 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 inflation reduction act big deal it's all kinds it's all encompassing it it has all kinds of things in it about climate change and nancy only reads bottle <laughs> yeah 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 it goes into i think it goes into climate change and basically you know seventy nine thousand new irs agents Basically, they're they're putting an army, a new army on the streets of IRS IRS agents, and uh, they're arming them to the teeth, and they're you know they're giving them guns and ammo. I was watching a video uh, just a little while ago, and they were 
showing all these IRS agents, you know, at the gun range, you know, and it talks about how they, they you know, it says the, the job description, you got to be on call all times. You got to be willing to use lethal force, you know, so yeah, it's, it's good news for, it's good news for the poor though. They're, they're doing it all to help us. It's like everything. It's all just to help us in this never ending, all encompassing war on the human population. <laughs> but no, I, I shouldn't say that. That's, that's, in, that's disinformation. They're, they're doing it to help people. That's what it's always about. All of it, all of it is there to protect us and keep us safe and just help the poor. That's all they want to do. But yeah, so that and the Trump raid, what was that all about? Raiding Donald Trump's house. Say they were going after secret documents that he lifted from the White House. It's, you know, <laughs> Just another fucking distraction, basically, that, you know, keep people focusing on things that really don't fucking matter. You know, all this bull crap, you know, Alex Jones, Donald Trump, they're all fucking actors in the show. The average stupid people, they just eat it up. Tell me, did you pay your taxes? Do you feel lucky, punk? <laughs> Yeah, it's either support the beast or we're coming for you. If you don't want to support the beast, you got no choice in the matter. You know, even, yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, it's not, not good, not good at all. Uh, uh, I'm not too optimistic about the future these days, you know. <laughs> Uh, it's just, they're just wearing us down, man. They're just wearing us down. That's what it's all about. It's called a never ending beat down until the will to live is gone. And then they just come in and mop up and reduce the population down to under a billion people. They're doing a hell of a damn good job of it. They seem to know exactly what they're doing, even though they do a real good job of pretending to be, you know, uh, what's the word? Incompetence. Yeah, they want us. The, the average American people thinks all our problems are because the government is stupid and incompetent. <laughs> oh, they do a good job of convincing people of that. You know, you try to try to talk to some of these people they just god if the government wasn't so stupid the world could be a lot but no they know exactly what they're doing you're the stupid one <laughs> but anyways yeah that's that's the big stories this week they want us to know all about it <laughs> so we won't be surprised when the irs comes pounding on our fucking doors you didn't pay your fair share boy Ozzy in the house. But yeah, what else is going on? The usual war in Ukraine keeps going on. I don't think there's ever going to be any talks of a ceasefire there. They're just That's just going to continue on so they can blame everything on that. What else? Oh, gas prices are going down. Isn't that wonderful? Jacked them up to five bucks. Now they're back down under four bucks. So I guess that's something. Some kind of decent news. And yeah. But yeah, this, this, uh, Inflation Reduction Act. As he says, dollar fifty a liter, which is probably what three or four bucks a gallon, just about the same as we're paying. But yeah, you know, I got used to putting more 
more money's worth of gas in my car every time. So now, now it's going up another, you know, if I put 30 bucks worth of gas in, I used to get a half a tank. Now it's going up to almost three quarters of a tank. So I guess instead of paying $75 a week for gas, now I'm paying like back to 60. I used to pay like 40 or $50 a gallon a, a week. And I thought that was a shit ton. It's all relative, folks. I remember the day back when I was a young guy when gas hardly ever went over. If, if gas went over a dollar a gallon and people were freaking out. I think that was like right around maybe the late 80s, mid 80s, late 80s, when they were like the Exxon Valdez garbage happened. And I remember I drove from LA to Denver back. I was maybe 20 years old back then. And I think I left LA. It was like over two something a gallon in California. The gas was like two fifty a gallon. I was like, Oh my God, that was insane in them days. And then I, as I drove across the country from LA to, to Denver, the, the price of gas just kept going down. Every time I stopped to get gas, it was a little bit cheaper than when I got to Denver, it was 99 cents. <laughs> so yeah, California always gets fucking screwed worse than every other state, man. We should only be paying the duty on the fuel, no tax. 30 cents liter we should be paying. That's how much they paid. Hmm. But yeah, it's, the price of gas here is like, a good, a big chunk of it is taxes and all kinds of other fees. You know, maybe one third of it is the actual price of the fuel. The rest of it is all the other fucking garbage. All the different state, federal taxes and surcharges and fees and fucking you name it. Man, they just, just love to suck the money out of the fucking. American population, man. They got us so, you know, addicted to energy, right? That's the that's the thing. We're, we're they, they they it's all been by design as far as far as I'm concerned. You know, it's they purposely created this this world where we need to enter we need energy for everything and it all costs money. So it's yeah, you know, it's it's just slavery. When energy should be free, really, you know, all forms of energy. The world is nothing but energy. There's just abundance, abundance, abundance of energy in the universe. But they make us be a slave to the energy. You see, that's the idea. That's how they keep us enslaved nowadays, you know. And it's going to get really bad this winter, I'm afraid, here in the United States. I'm, I'm hearing, you know, the price of, of heating your fucking house is going to double. And that's going to fucking kill people right there, man. I mean, it was bad enough last winter when I'm paying $300 a month to heat my house. You know, and that's going to go up to $600 a month. I mean, that's like fucking, that's like paying rent on top of rent. On top of a mortgage, <laughs> six hundred a month just to fucking heat your house. So we better uh, enjoy this warm weather while we got it, <laughs> because I won't start feeling it probably until like I'll start getting my big bills probably in December, December, January, February, March, April, even into May. So like five or six months of bills that are going to be, I'm, 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 you know, I'm estimating my, my heating bill is going to be over at least, uh, you know, the very best I'm hoping for is $400 a month. If I'm lucky, it'll only be $400 a month. If it's as bad as I think it might get, it could be $600 a month. 
And so, yeah, they're just so evil, these fucking turds, man. You know, and I really believe that the earth is so full of natural gas and, you know, all that shit. The, the earth creates it. They call it a fossil fuel, which is just garbage. There ain't no such thing as fossil fuels. It's constantly being replenished. They want us to, you know, they've always told us that, the, the, that the, you know, eventually the oil in the world is going to run out, you know. You think if that was true, it would have fucking run out by now at the, you know, the rate that the world consumes oil. If it was a finite resource, it would have been gone by now. I'm even holding up from doing my time. Uh, make them wait, yeah. On purpose. I pay my bills late all the time, yeah. I get fucking threatening phone calls from them, and it's not by people. It's by it's always by a fucking computer. Hi, this is this is the shit fucking computer from the natural gas company with a friendly reminder to tell you that you're late on your payment. Fuck you. Even if I burn wood, you know, as much as I possibly can, it just doesn't really do much to uh, cut back on my fucking... My house is just so fucking un, un-efficient, in, if inefficient, I should say. If and when I'm doing to get as much as I can, but if not more from my tax return, claim everything. Yeah. Don't deal with terrorists. Yeah, it's just insane to, uh, you know, give your money to these fucking, to the enemy, you know? <laughs> that's, what, that's what taxes are. You're giving the money to the enemy to use it against you, and then they just fucking waste it all. They just fucking flush it right down the toilet and want more. It's insane that that's the idea. It's not about them getting the money or them helping people with the money or doing. It's about taking the money from you. It's about depriving you of your own fucking wealth. They don't give a shit. They, they got all the money in the world. You know, you now they talk about this, you know, what is it? The uh, Inflation Reduction Act, you know, to talk about why the reason why we have such inflation because of all the fucking money that they printed, right? We've heard this in the last two years. They printed half of the fucking dollars that have ever existed on in the world in the last 120, 110 years almost since the, the Federal Reserve was, was uh, established in 1913. In almost 110 years, they printed half of the money supply in the last two years. <laughs> you know, it's like flooding a sea of fucking dollars with a, another whole ocean of dollars and then creating the problem. And then they have the reaction and now they've come out with the solution. This is the Hegelian dialectic, which is their... their but they always do. I, was, I had a dead clerk tell me that he was saying that he needed to repossess my shit. I told him to go walk. Turns out he wasn't even legit. I didn't owe anyone anything. Didn't owe anyone money and wasn't in debt. Yeah, there's a lot of scammers out there. They call people up and you'll get these recordings. You are being sued. You... Uh, you know, you need to call this number right away and settle this matter. And it's really, it's, it's scammers. You know. Dude, uh. So, yeah, it's just, you just can't fucking win. <laughs> I guess the only way to win is to just to not play, play their fucking game. But, uh. Yeah, so I guess I'll go ahead and post the link here.
Oh, yeah. Cool, rainy evening out there. It's almost 7 p.m. here, and yeah, it's down into the 50s, which is pretty pretty cool, I'd say. Is Yeah, I guess Las Vegas got another torrential downpour the other day I was watching. So that they're, they're, looks like they're doing a good job in reversing the empty Lake Mead. <laughs> and, uh, they've had, I guess I was, I was hearing that uh, Las Vegas has had the, the wettest summer now, just from like the last two weeks, it's been the wettest summer since 2012. So in the last 10 years, they've gotten like almost two inches of rain this summer. <laughs> That's and that they get, they get a half an inch of rain in Las Vegas in the summertime. And it's like, it causes flash flooding. You know, it's just like the, the ground is like made out of fucking clay and the water doesn't soak in whatsoever. So it's like you get a half inch of rain out there in the desert and it just floods everything. It's ridiculous. I guess it was just another round of flooding and just all kinds of damage and it's just, you know, one fucking disaster after another. You know, it's just, just the way they want it. <laughs> you know, me though, you know, when this whole climate change garbage. To me, it's just a cover story. You know, they're getting away with fucking controlling the weather and blaming it on, on the population. It's, it's awesome. If you people just would go kill yourselves, everything would be fine again. But no, there's too many people in the world and causing all this crazy weather to happen. It's just so insane to believe it. But no, I mean, I shouldn't say any of that. I take it all back. That's all misinformation on my part. Climate change is real. All this weather is happening because of you. It's all your fault. Kill yourself now. Save the planet. But yeah, so... Oh, yeah, I had a I had a fucking hard day yesterday. Hurt myself a couple times on the job and I fucked my hip up. I don't know, man. Hopefully it'll get better. I I did a stupid thing. I tried stepping on this bucket and <laughs> the bucket slipped out from under me. My my other leg was up like this on this ledge. And I and I went down and I felt my hip go, ah. And just like I felt all this, you know pain go through my hip. It wasn't real bad. But it definitely did some damage to my hip. And yeah, I'm feeling it, but uh feels like it's it's getting better, not getting any worse. So who knows? I might be fucking crippled for life. We'll see how it is come Monday. I might have to just tell them I can't work now. I gotta might as well take me out and shoot me because I can't fucking work anymore. My hips all fucked up. Bolshevik cries out in pain as he strikes you. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully my hip will get better. It's 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 bothering me, but it's not that bad. I think it's just I think I just you know hyperextended it and hopefully it gets better. Maybe I, I uh Hopefully I just pop my hip back in it because I've always been, I've been having problems with this hip for a few years now, maybe five or 10 years or so. This hip's been just kind of just not real bad, but just, you know, every once in a while it feels like my hip will pop out a joint a little bit. I got to like pull my leg like this, and pop it back into place. So yeah, we'll see. It's, it's sad, you know, you got to uh, uh, watch your body fall apart as you fucking age, man. You will eat the bugs. Yeah, I was watching the, what's his name yesterday? Uh, you, you got, you Australian's favorite guy, Max Egan. He, yeah, he did a thing about the, talking about eating the bugs. And he was talking, and like, I guess there's a parasite that lives in a lot of insects. 
they got this certain parasite inside of them. Almost a lot of bugs have it. And they, apparently the humans can't process it. I don't know if it's true or not. Because, because humans don't eat bugs. And so, yeah, it's, you're basically saying that eating bugs is definitely not good for humans. I don't know if it's true or not. Some bugs are good. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's what he was saying. Some crazy shit going on, man. Like, uh, and, he, and he showed this a couple pictures of these fucking. Uh, it, it just sticks in my mind. Of it, it was called vaginal necrosis. Oh my god! It's just you can imagine. And he actually showed pictures of it on it on his video, and just oh my god, it was so horrible. And they said it was caused by the you know what. So I don't know. I just don't know. It was just the most one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen in my life. And they actually showed a few pictures of them, and uh, uh, it's terrible. This is so yeah, like a lot of things that are that are being caused by that. You know, they are blaming it on other things. You know, people are dropping dead of all these different things, and. But it's not because of the you know what. That's one thing they never mentioned. It's really weird how they're doing it now, man. It's almost like people have forgotten about the, the you know what. <coughs> it's kind of like drifted into the memory, and and just all these people are dying, you know, heart attacks and all this shit, and it's being blamed on all this stupid shit. You know, they're gone. They're saying. People are having heart attacks from watching too much television. People are having heart attacks from smoking too much marijuana. Speaking of which, cheers. <laughs> yeah. I get this metal bit. Yeah. <laughs> I should never have been born. Damn my parents. I know. Why did my parents have to fuck? Wouldn't be in this fucking shit nightmare right now. They're dead and gone. They don't care. They checked out decades ago. <laughs> no, my my mad pie man. Hey, Eric. Hey, we got camera a camera doesn't want to work, man. Camera know, doesn't want to work. The pie man is I'm just talking I'm circle going, tonight. I'm going in and out fucking 10 times. And don't, the camera won't turn on for some fucking reason. Damn. Sounds like you need an, uh, you need a new, another device some of some kind. No, they don't like me uh, using the, um, what's it called? The, the, the fucking uh, old fashioned Stone Age uh, search engine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you? Yeah. Using? The other options are uh, uh, Google and Google Chrome, and I won't. I won't use that shit. Oh, you're using like a uh, uh, a certain web browser. Yeah, just the basic shit, whatever it is. On, on Windows. No, no, no. It's um, Safari. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. But what do you usually use? Yeah, that's what I normally use. Yeah. You normally use Safari. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I just use Google because it's fucking. I I I'm, I do my live stream on a PC. But it's probably the reason why I, I have problems, you know. Sometimes. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. They want anyway, you using their you shit. Can hear me. That's the you can. That's the main thing, I suppose. Yeah. yeah, that's the main thing. You know, we like to see you, but you know, what are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah, still old, mate. Still got a grey beard. Yeah, yeah. You still. Yeah. You wearing your hoodie? I haven't gotten any younger lately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I kind of got into a little argument with my boss the other day, man. I don't know. He just doesn't have much. He just seems to not respect me too much, you know? Even though he's a yeah, nice guy and all, and he treats me well, yeah. sometimes, you know, he, he kind of acts like 
I'm an idiot or something, you know? Hey. And it kind of gets on it gets on my nerves after a while. And uh you know, and it's like you know, always they're always, you know, people are just gonna always pick on you, you know, they're always gonna, you know, attack your weaknesses no matter what, you know. And but sometimes you just gotta fucking fight back at them, you know. Say, you hey. know what? I ain't taking your fucking garbage anymore, man. I don't need this job that fucking bad. You know? I was looking when I found this fucking job, but you know, I just you know, I, I let him know that I didn't appreciate it and without being too crazy about it, because I really don't want to fucking I really don't want to lose the job, you know. But if I did, it wouldn't be the end of the world, you know what I mean? Yeah. But uh if I don't, you know, if I don't get no respect from people, you know. What's yeah, man, it's a two way street. It goes both ways, you know. <clears throat> you know, it's just you don't talk to me like I'm a fucking idiot. You know, if I if I make them, you know, if I don't understand what you're saying, sometimes it's not because I fucking, you know, I'm just not following along with the, you know, exactly what you're saying sometimes, and you're gonna act, act like I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking ridiculous, man. But, you know, they're always fucking, you know. It's always about you're not, my you're not a mind shit. reader. We're not mind readers, are we? You know, so I'll just tell them, you know, I ain't getting no younger, I ain't getting no smarter, and I ain't getting no stronger. So quit fucking fucking with me all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm old, I'm dumb, and I'm weak. <laughs> and I ain't getting no younger, I ain't getting no smarter, and I ain't getting no stronger. So if you don't like it, fucking hire somebody else. Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> You go fuck yourself. <laughs> and then you'd be amazed how much nicer they are to you after that. It's hard to replace experience, man. When you stand up to them, man, you know, they just, they don't expect it. You know, they're used to people, you know. Experience comes with time, man. Exactly. Young and younger and younger. You know, they, they, all, they always forget about all the good shit you do, and they just always yeah, want to dwell yeah. on your shortcomings no matter what. Yeah, They're yeah. gonna fucking pick on you for your little, your your occasional little shortcoming, you know. I mean, you, you try. Oh, remember, well, what about all the shit I did well? Oh, that doesn't matter. Yeah, we'll just forget about all that. Yeah. No, it's not like you pay me a shit ton of money either. Yeah. You think you're gonna find somebody better for the fucking for the same money? You're out of your fucking mind. Hey, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you just you just can't fucking let them. Fucking shit all over you all the time. You got to occasionally, you got to strike back. <laughs> yeah, you just got to stand up for yourself. Right? And then, That's all. Yeah. And not, you know. But, uh, we'll see. I'm almost ready to quit, anyways. You know, if I don't, they don't treat me a lot better Monday, I'm just going to fucking, you know what? I ain't getting no younger. I ain't getting no smarter. And I ain't getting no stronger. So, might as well just call it a day. <laughs> Go yeah, find well, something you better. Because I'm sick of not hearing about my shortcomings. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, we I guess we all get frustrated now and then with our slavery. You know. <clears throat> you gotta be happy, man. That's you gotta be happy, man. but you just you still get frustrated, man, you know. No, no, you you have to be happy, man. There's no yeah. there's no point being unhappy. Doesn't matter how much you get paid. Uh-huh. Um, I'm looking at Eldora again, man. Seriously, I was looking on their website, and I didn't see one thing about the you know what. Yeah, they're not—they're not, they're not talking about it right now. On for some in there. Oh, I heard all the rules of. Uh, it's not mentioned well, at all. So, yeah, I heard, you know, I heard I'm going to call them up and ask them before I. You I heard know, all the all the, uh, yeah, all the um, prerequisites uh, are being dropped. So. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to I'm going to make sure you know. In order, you know, like I'm thinking about, you know, and they they, they open in the middle of November, right? Mm. So I want to, you know, if if, if, I, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to make sure that it's, you know, that it, that I'm going to get the job and all that, and be, you know, have it secured, and then probably quit my job like it, you know, the first of November, so I could take a couple weeks off, you know, and then work there for the for the whole winter. 
You know you'll be happy, man, won't you? So I think that'll be good good for me. You'll enjoy going to work every day. Yeah, a lot more. I mean, it's just still there's 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 problems with that too, but there ain't nothing you got. You still got to deal with stupid people and shit. But you know, it's still I love being up on the mountain every fucking day. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it, it does. It, it and they're they're paying a lot more than they used to too. Yeah, that's good. Hey. Ozzy in the house. Hey, Ozzy. Yeah, I was looking. They're starting the lift operators at eighteen bucks an hour. So that's something I'm thinking about doing, you know. It seems like it hasn't changed too much, except for the, you know, I don't know. We'll see. So what what are the right? What's the right now for a lift operator? Did you say? You see, it's starting at eighteen dollars an hour. Eighteen. Like Is that better than it was before? There, I was making like thirteen. What? Ah. And I was one of the higher paid guys. I was yeah, or maybe I was making fourteen or fifteen. I can't remember. It's been a while. It was back in twenty twenty. You can't afford to eat. You can't afford to eat for that much money here, man. Yeah, it's it's you know, it's not it's not a lot of money, but it's shit. You know, I'm making thirty now, right? So yeah, if, you, if you're not less. earning thirty, if you're not earning thirty bucks an hour in Australia, man, you're you're doing it real hard. I tell you. Yeah, but that's you know. I'm taking a cut and pay for sanity. You know? We'll be earning about 10 bucks an hour. Yeah. Living the dream. Yeah, 18 an hour is not much money. <sighs> 30 bucks an hour used to be uh, you know, it used to be a good wage. Not everything is about money in this world, you know? It used to be a good wage, man. People could live comfortably yeah. on 30 bucks an hour like a couple of years 18 ago. 18 bucks an hour used to be a good wage. Not anymore, Back man. 30, 80, 30 bucks is the, the new 20 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the 1900s. Yeah. Well, you know, that was 40 fucking years ago. <laughs> What's going on, Ozzy? Oh, not much. Just uh, keeping it real. Keeping it not real. Doing too keeping much. it real, yo. Is it? There's a jobs fair coming up. I might go. It's at my uh, local shopping centre, so I might uh, might uh, do a hidden camera, do my Aussie exclusive, and uh, yeah, go go there and record people on hidden camera. Yeah, good work, man. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, uh, that's a thought, but uh, it's the plan. But uh, you can't film in the in shopping centres anymore. Apparently, they can uh, kick you out. So. You can't kick it, yeah. You can't film it. That's like a a law. Well, you can, but they they just make up their own rules, yeah. Yeah, in a shopping, yeah, you know, private, in a private property, private. I guess you they can tell you what yeah, to do. Private. They tell you, in you tell, they tell you that you can't film in a in a uh, in a uh, in a complex that's covered in security cameras, and everyone's <laughs> walking around with a phone with a I camera know. in their pocket. But you know, if it's a if it's a public place, a public it's not privately owned. You can film all you want. Well, I used to work at a at United the States Wolves and I used to work at a, at the Wolves where they housed all the new cars that were coming out, and they said that you couldn't take photos or take video. But I did anyway. Doesn't matter. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they didn't like me doing it, but I just said, "Oh, it's for OHS reasons." Because yeah, I was right. safety, I was a safety guy there, so I just said it was for OHS purposes. <laughs> Can't film for safety. It's it's dangerous <clears throat> to record people. You well, can they, film someone to death. <laughs> they thought I was they thought I was going to upload the video to or the, the photo to Facebook and uh, you know people are going to see what the new uh, Toyota Rav Four is going to look like. Or something yeah, like yeah, that. that's. Uh, car companies are always trying to hide their new models. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but they're all they're all they're all the same anyway. They're always. Um, yeah, it's right. The off. They're all, they're all, they're all the same anyway off. now. That's right. Yeah, they, who cares? They have years. Yeah. And they do their testing, they drive through fucking cities and out into the country with their fucking zebra colored cars, and no one's supposed to notice that that's a new model, you know. Yeah, but it's you can zebra tell, zebra you can tell what it's going to look like anyway. You can tell what it's yeah. going to look like. The zebra, the zebra thing doesn't hide it. No, it doesn't do a very good job, does it? Uh, Zebra. No, what, is it a cop car? 
No, no, no they, just, like a, they just cover like the cars in like black and white fucking zigzag stripes to try yeah, and hide the identity. Oh. Of the new no, models, the so new people models, can't so. tell what they are. Yeah. No they badges. Cameras yeah. that are like zebra striped. Yeah. Surveillance cameras. It's a really bad way no, of trying to hide new models from the public. It doesn't work very well. Hmm. Couldn't help it. I'm a... Hey, Joe. Going with that gun in your hand. Boom, 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 boom. Hopefully he's not going to shoot his old lady. <laughs> <clears throat> Michael Healy, welcome. It's not like the motoring. <clears throat> it's not like the motoring magazines get the scoop like like in a year before the fucking new model comes out anyway. So everyone knows it's coming out. So, you know, it's no secrets. Yeah, it hasn't been we'll secrets see. for a long time. Which models are you talking about? I'm sorry, I missed it. Ah, uh, just any new car models. Cars? Yeah, new cars. Yeah, cars new cars in general. But no one really cares about them anyway. No one's buying them. No one really. They're, just, they're all rubbish cars anyway. Yeah. They're all they're all planned. They're all planned obsolescence. These new cars anyway. Yeah, <laughs> bought his own. Even like, yeah. even like the Teslas are shitty. Is that true? Yeah. Like that, that? They'll, they'll yeah they'll need a new battery in about five years time. And no, 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 I heard all kinds of all, all kinds of horrible things about fucking batteries. You know, yeah. the dangers of fucking. Lithium ion batteries and shit it can explode and catch yeah. on fire. And like, one guy was talking about. Yeah, once the battery if, stopped working, man. That's, what uh, happens if you get like, if you have to drive through like a flooded road, and you, you know? Oh, you're fucked. And yeah. your battery gets wet. Yeah, you're fucked. Hmm. It might what be happens? covered under warranty. Yeah, that, lithium, that lithium reacts with water and it fucking catches on fire. And it fucking like, like potassium nitrate, if you throw it in water. Fucking yeah. the accident it explodes. I'm seeing that's what happens with fucking lithium nion ion battery, whatever they well, are. It won't be it won't be covered uh, by warranty. It won't be covered by a dealer's warranty. That's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Boy, yeah and they're unserviceable. Avoid. If something does go wrong, you got to take it wonder, to. You know, they purposely take it back to the dealer. Right? You can't take it to a mechanic because mechanics don't know what the hell's going on. With what, with electric cars. Yeah. <laughs> it's only the manufacturer a, that can good, actually service the cars. There's a uh, a channel. There's a channel on YouTube called uh, Uncle Tony's Garage, and uh, he's like an old school American mechanic. And he was explaining how uh, these he bought this new part for uh, I think it was a drive shaft on one of his old cars, and he was comparing the old part to the new part, and he was saying that. The new part had like heaps of play in it, and uh, it's not supposed to have play. That's how. That's why the uh, the, sh the drive shaft failed. So he reckons that all these new parts that they're making now, they're all shit. <laughs> so they're, they're, it's planned obsolescence. So that's that's yeah. how they're going to bring in the electric car. Right, you'll own nothing and, ha and be happy by twenty thirty, right? Yeah. So you won't be able to drive around in an old clunker anymore. Because there'll be no good parts for it, and they'll just blame it on oh the, the cars are all uh, oh, yeah, the all old the, cars are no good. They'll just the blame all the old cars. They'll just they'll just say oh the, the cars are no good. They're not going to say anything about the um the quality control of the parts or anything. So yeah, it's already happening anyway. Oh yeah, I had a uh, I had a Toyota Crusader years ago, and yeah. uh, the <clears throat> the water pump went on it. So I knew I was I actually worked with someone whose brother worked at Toyota, all right, and because the water pump for the you know the Australian uh, model Crusader was the uh, MX uh, eighty three I think it was the last Crusader yeah. made, uh, sold in Australia. Anyway, it was a, it was an import Japanese import, but there's no aftermarket uh, water pumps. You can only buy them at that time. You know, Probably it's still the same now, but you can only buy them from Toyota, genuine water pumps, right? So, yeah, yeah I got him to uh, order one, you know, through his brother. I went and picked it up. Um, 
I compared the water pump to the old water pump, and the old water pump, uh, I mean, the new water pump had a Toyota stamp on it, uh, but the box said made in China, which was a problem. And the actual casting was way thinner than the original uh, water pump, you know, for the housing. Yeah. Yeah. It was a pe it was a piece of shit. It was designed it was like, to fail, made in China, and it was a genuine China. Toyota part. Yeah, made in China. And it failed. It failed within about a year. It, the, the brand new, genuine Toyota water pump was shit, you know? Yeah, everything's fucking made in China. It's insane. So, you had no option. Jeez. Well, was, someone was saying yeah, also the about the, the one American dollar in 1913 was able to buy like, I don't know, it was able to buy a lot more things, right? The purchasing power was a lot more, right? Now mm. it's like, they, they say it's like negative, uh, I don't know, negative uh, 10 cents or something is the purchasing power of the dollar these days. Yeah. And, and back then it used to be like, the dollar was like 99 cents or something. Because they had to they had to put a debt instrument on on the uh, on the money, so you had to pay it that one cent back from one dollar. Yep. So it was like ninety nine cents you got. Yep. And then the one cent was the debt. So, yeah, it used to be based on the gold standard. Then they, they yeah. moved the fiat currency, and they just fucking started making imaginary money attached to debt. You know, there was a debt attached to every dollar that was ever, ever, ever printed or supposedly printed, which probably never was. It was just put into digital circulation. Really. So you guys got monkeypox down there? Yeah, I'm, I'm currently got monkeypox. I've got pimples <laughs> on my face. There's like five cases in Australia, I think. Five cases like in the whole country? Some shit like that. Supposedly, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm scratching. I'm scratching. I've got, I've got monkey pox <laughs> everywhere. They're saying that it's. I heard, I heard on the radio. That it's more bananas. Does that count? It's, it's mostly. Oh yeah, I do. Have, I've got some bananas. I'll show you. I'll <laughs> I heard on the radio the other day. It's mostly being spread by men who have sex with other men. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they didn't say gay men. They said men having sex with other men. I thought that was bad news. There's the evidence. There's the proof. Yeah, you know. So <laughs> basically, what they're saying is, Banana. just because you like to have sex with another man, it doesn't mean you're gay. I just heard uh, this morning. Yeah. I just heard this morning that the World it's Health Organization has the world recommended now. monkey pox vaccines. And you know, not all for healthcare have sex workers with other men are gay. And. So it's already started exactly the same way as the the last bullshit started. It's already starting, man. So <laughs> get ready. And and the and the and that same cocksucker from uh, the World Health Organization. He's the one who made the announcement. And he also said, "We're not going to mandate it yet at this stage for the general population." Oh, yeah. So it's already started, man. We're, we're, yeah, we're going so, around in the same fucking bullshit circle of words. And they're, they're really ago. downplaying, you know, the you know what. They're really, they're just, I, I hear on the radio nowadays, it's like, oh, cases are way down. You know, I just don't trust them, man. <laughs> they got to have some fucking trick up their sleeve if they're going to pull. What was in the car the other day? I was. I was I was listening to the radio at the news hour, right? And I did. They didn't say anything about any, uh, you know, you know what cases or whatever, right? They didn't say anything about about anything like all, all this stuff that's going on, right? Mm -hmm. They were just talking about oh, there was a shooting in Sydney. There was uh, this happened here. Oh, the shooting in Sydney was bullshit anyway, because no one has guns in Australia anymore, was and there, apparently there was it was. Apparently it was fired by a pistol, but no one owns. You have to. Only you have to have and a, police. Uh, yeah, well, so sure it's you, probably either a bikey gang or something. I don't know. No one has pistols in Australia. Well, I'm sure, but you could still so probably get them. Get, yeah, you, you could probably get them on the black market, I reckon. But they you know, exist, no one exists anywhere in the, the planet, population. The popular ninety percent of the population yeah. of Australia. No one uh, that fucking. Uh, the cops carry guns now, don't they? I don't, no, I don't carry a gun with me. I don't. 
Pyman well, probably doesn't have a gun. I don't have a gun. I wish I did. Carry guns? Yeah, no, man. Don't they? I thought they did. What's that? I thought the cops carry guns here. Well, they what they oh, have. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, cops carry guns. Oh yeah. So yeah, there cops are, carry guns. guns. There are yeah. guns in the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah but the hands of other people. But we're not allowed to. We're not allowed to have it. Like we have to get licensed and go to a gun range, oh, yeah. or, or you have to like lock them up in a certain. Like you have to lock them up. Yeah, like, we have certain... to. We have to have a purpose for it. Like yeah. either it's sporting or hunting or whatever. You can't. You can't just say, "Oh yeah, I want to have a gun." Yeah. This is you know. If you get permission, them, man. Like, yeah. you know, in some countries, you got you got to take it to like a government facility and lock it up. Yeah. No, if, you, key, if you're granted you permission. If you're granted permission to own a firearm in Australia, right, you have to have a gun cabinet for your weapon and you have to have a separate cabinet for your ammunition. Hmm. And they have to be locked. They have to be separated. Time. Yep, separated. You so they're absolutely useless. Yeah. If you actually actually need to use them in an emergency, you're fucked anyway. You know what I mean? Hmm. You see. That's what they, they would love to do that here, you know. I can't believe they still haven't really done it yet. You know, Ken, Ken just Ken just wrote in the chat. He goes, oh, "I used to target practice with a Magnum forty four and a Colt thirty five with a mate. You've got a hand gun license. Yeah, you can you can buddy up with someone. I'm just like, if you know someone that has a gun license, they can take you out and you can shoot, or if you go hunting or something. But um, that's the only reason. That's the only reason that you can. Huh? So. Pretty much the only Australians, man, that have uh, that have uh, guns are, are farmers. The ones that aren't criminals. When I say criminals, I mean police and bikies. Yeah, farm. They have a. They supposedly have like a legitimate use for them. They protect their animals from yeah. dingoes and crocodiles. And they're making it harder yeah. for farmers to own firearms as well. So yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Did you see that video of the guy here that, that was trying to rob the liquor store and he got shot? That is, that is funny. He only got he only got shot in the arm though by a, this old man with a shotgun. <laughs> he this guy walks into this liquor store. He's carrying a fucking an assault rifle. And like you know, the, the dude was watching him the whole time on a surveillance camera. And the old guy. Yeah. And as soon as the guy walked in there, he just fucking, bam, fucking fired and fucking hit him in the arm. The dude fucking running out of there, ah, oh, freaking out, screaming, and fucking jumped in the getaway car. And like that, like, like there was another guy coming out with a gun to rob this fucking liquor store. It was pretty funny. It was a pretty, pretty popular video here in America. I'm sure a lot of people. I think have seen I did it. say it. I think I did. I think I did say that. As well, yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty funny. It was doing the rounds. Did you see that that woman that shot that? Uh, she was in Thailand, and her, apparently her um, husband was beating her up, and she got a gun and she shot him at at, a, at the market because he worked at this market. I didn't and see that. And she went up to him and died. Oh, it was on like live leaks or something, and she went up and shot him like several times in the chest and killed him. Mm. Damn. So she's probably going to get life imprisonment, or she's going to get a life sentence, or she's probably going to be sentenced to death. So, really, yeah, because Thailand's pretty fucked up when it comes to that shit. Yeah, I'm sure guns are illegal there they're too, pretty, huh? They're pretty barbaric when it comes to like drugs, anything to do with drugs, and you know, shit like that, murder. So. You said the guy was beating her up? Yeah, apparently the story goes that uh, he was beating her up or something and uh, she got a gun and just went to oh, yeah. where he, he worked at this market or something. It's like his outside market and she just killed him. Fuck it, dude. He, he deserved it if he was fucking beating her up. My opinion. Yeah, like they, they have to allow You know, you got to push someone pretty that. far before they fucking do something like that. Usually, if yeah, you wouldn't just go out, something you, like that. You, the person fucking has it coming. You wouldn't just go out and go out and kill someone, you know, like without, you yeah. know, without serious reason, fucking you know. mental anguish that he's been that you've been put through. I would yeah. say, 
not guilty. Yeah, well, um, hopefully, hopefully she can get off then. But you know, who knows? But so. who knows? Yeah, does she have proof that different what laws, he was doing different her? Laws for, different laws for different countries. It's pretty yeah. stupid. Mm -hmm. There should only be one law, like the, the common law, no, not common law, but natural law, they call it, right? Natural law. We don't even have the right to self. We don't even have the right to self. The difference between right and wrong. And that should just be the law, right? You do something wrong, you, you know it. We don't even have I the call right it the to law self. of the jungle. You know, wrong is, you know, creating a victim, stealing. Kill it's illegal him. to defend yourself or your property. You know, raping, somebody, those are crimes. If, if somebody breaks into your house in Australia, victim. all right, and you beat their oh. ass, you go to jail. Yeah, that's the same way it is here. Yeah, I think if you're not careful, you can yeah. uh, defend yourself and get charged. Sure. You have no right to self-defense here. <clears throat> mm -mm. <clears throat> That's not Seems. freedom, man. That's that's tyranny. We we've been living under that for for a while. So. And it's I, I pretty... call it I call it uh, law of the jungle. We should have law of the jungle. It's it's yeah. the opposite of what um, uh, and you know George what Bush said. There would be a lot less crime in the world if it was like that. Well, <laughs> things would still happen. You're not gonna you're not gonna abolish crime, crime. Like that. In my opinion, if the world was run properly. And you didn't force people into a life of crime for one, with, with the unjust, evil society that we live in, where people are uh, have no choice but to commit crimes. A lot of times, it's the only way they know how to make money or whatever. But I think it's it's just the way that they force people into a horrible situations, you know, and and. Uh, charge people with crime, especially victimless crimes and shit. Oh, hey. You know, if you've left no victim, there should be, you know, shouldn't be a crime. So it's simple, man. Yeah. You know. Hey, also, like, they're going like to steal drug money. Offenses, you know, that, that really irritates me, drug offenses. It's all so obvious, you know, that it's a war on the population. Yep. That they're, they, they purposely make sure there's drugs on the street to get people hooked on them. And yeah. then criminalize them for it. And our, the most of our prison population are those fucking people. Sure, the vast yeah. majority of the prison population are drug offenses. The prison yeah. industrial complex. Because they purposely get people hooked on drugs. Gotta it's keep the medical prisons full. condition, for one. It's you don't keep fine. the prisons full, you, they, they lose their contract. Mm -hmm. that so, yeah, America is such an evil fucking place, man. I mean, United States. It's just... You know, the war on drugs is just an example of what they've been doing for a long time. This war on the population, you know, they even say it the war on drugs, but it's really a war on fucking people, you know. But <coughs> it's true, <coughs> so it's true. <coughs> and it's, it's, I guess, it's worse now than ever, you know, the drug problem in America is because of the. The opioid fucking like epidemic this has killed millions of people. You know, I talk about it often. You know, it's fentanyl, and I see that I, I see people sometimes. You know, they're, they're all fucked up. You know, and it's, I mean, and these people are really fucked up, man. They're just they can't function. They just yeah. walk around the streets all day and bum sleep wherever they can just get high whenever they, any any way they can I, it appears yeah. and somehow they find a way to get their drugs and so you know i think once people get to that point they ain't got long to go they don't i don't think a lot of them live very long you know you couldn't live very long in colorado without a house man could you <laughs> yeah i see them they're out there all winter long you know, fucking sleeping out in the cold in the tents and shit. Yeah, I don't and know. Whatever, you know, all kinds of cr crap, man. It's sad. Borgen, Jorgen Becker. It's happening. My dude. Yeah, it's really sad. 
Yeah, Colorado is not a place for homeless, but there's a lot of them here. I mean, it's nice for a good chunk of the year. Uh, hey, Ken, of yeah, Ken got screwed over. He was trying to share movies uh, yesterday, and he got uh, he he tried to he tried to share one movie, and they wouldn't let him, and they um, pulled his stream down. So then he started another live stream, and he tried to share another movie. They pulled that down, and they gave him two strikes. Who? Oh, all right. Who'd they do that to? For old movies, man. Old movies that nobody watches. Crazy. Ken shit. Rodman? Oh. Yeah. So that's, yeah, I don't try not to do that shit, man. But they don't, you know, they they usually don't care about small channels and shit. It just goes how to show how fucking ridiculous it's all becoming with the censorship and you know, got to be real careful. That's a big what the Alex Jones thing was about, right? Oh, yeah. Setting a precedence to, yep. to take action on people for their for their freedom of speech. It's about group, putting us all together in one group and calling us all crazy Alex Jones supporters, man. Yeah, and sure. we're all and what we're doing is is you know scandalous and libelous and fucking what are they you know de defaming people. But what, what he, hit, me out, hit me out on this. Do you think that Alex Jones is like he could be just a a thing just so that they can um, bring in more rules and regulations for That's YouTube? Or? Saying, I think kind of they're using he's it a, as a he's, a he's an asset. He's an asset for censorship. He was from the start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Like, look, he fucking... was good. He was good from look. I, I give him props to if I if I wasn't if I didn't. Uh, watched that episode from when he was with Jesse Ventura and explaining things about the FEMA stuff and the, you know, oh, the yeah. camps and the the, the the coming of the the V word, um, the sickness. Um, I probably would have already been, uh, you know, mm -hmm. you know what it, and, you know what it again, and followed the narrative. That's what they do so, with those people. They get, you know, they, but, they but speak props, ninety percent props to truth. him. Props, props to him, but. He he was the one that kind of got me into looking down the rabbit hole, but he doesn't show you the rabbit hole. You have to go in it. He gives so, you a lot of good truth, but then there, there's also the fucking. But you got to go look into it yourself. Controlled opposition part of it. Yeah, that's what it is, man. Controlled yeah, that, opposition. That's what it, that's what this whole trial thing was about. Yeah. You know, he goes into the big stories that everybody's talking about, but there's always some twist to it. You know, like he was there and like. Bohemian Grove and all that, you know, they still, that's still, I see, still see a lot of people showing those videos and shit about when Alex Jones exposing them, you know, all that shit. He was like the first one because he's they, a character, he was going to come out eventually. Like, so they had their man, you know, in, you know, he's a character on the world stage, just like Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just part of the show. They're all part of the show. If they're on the mainstream news and they're talking about them, they're part of the show. But you're right, Ozzy. Yeah, we we pretty much everybody who knows anything started with Alex Jones. So, yeah, well, even even at, like if it wasn't for my mate from like oh, this is going back years ago from trade school, <laughs> I I wouldn't have got I wouldn't have got into it like further down the rabbit hole because I, I kind of stopped at like uh, UFOs and aliens at that time. And then I got into what happened in September and all this other stuff. And yeah. Yeah. Next thing you know, yeah. you're watching flat earther videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll be true. Today, you know, they're, they're, they're damn entertaining flat earth videos. It, it yeah. just tweaks that part of the mind. What if this is all true? Oh, it's, <laughs> it, it's good. It's good to, it's good to like broaden the mind a bit and see, see if it is, know. you know, know, see what they're putting. Yeah, we don't know, but it's um, that's all I could say is I don't know. The world is flat. Yeah, but it's around. it's a good it's a good theory the nonetheless. That tells me that's for goddamn sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, it makes me really question it because NASA tells us it's round, so that makes me go, hmm. Maybe it is yeah, the Bible flat. tells us <laughs> the Bible tells us it's flat. <laughs> it's the whole thing. The Bible, the Bible tells us it's on a plane. We're on a plane. There's more. There's more Genesis. land on the other side of of the 
Antarctic. You heard that one? You know, the spanner yeah, in the woods, it. man. The there's, spanner there's in the much woods. More, the world's uh, much bigger, and there's like a whole other realms beyond Antarctica. That's interesting. Yeah, that was. <laughs> yeah, I like the that works, theory. The spanner in the works for, um, for people who got stuck on Alex Jones. Yeah, I used to love Alex Jones. He's a guy called Eddie Bravo. Eddie. Because What's his name? Eddie he's, Bravo. He's mates with Alex Jones and Joe Rogan. All right? And a lot of people graduated from Alex Jones to Joe Rogan. All right? Some people now still are stuck on? on Joe Rogan. But then Eddie Bravo. <laughs> still doing Joe Rogan. Eddie Bravo came along, mate. And he Eddie destroyed Bravo. all the bullshit. See the new uh, one? The latest gatekeeper? All the bullshit in the world. And he's still doing it. And, he, and he's got his own show now. And he speaks truth, man, and he's a hundred percent. Who's Eddie Bravo? And, uh, Where, he, he he's he's opened a lot of minds up, you know, because he's uh he's big, man. You know what I mean? I don't, and he speaks I'm, truth, all truth, man. I've never even heard of him. <laughs> so so like, you haven't heard of Eddie Bravo? How much I live? I might I've heard the name, I'm sure, but so what does he do? Is he's like a talk show host or something? You know, he's um. Yeah, it's amazing they let him talk, man. I don't know. It's only because of his connections, I think, that they let him talk, you know. Mm. But Joe Rogan doesn't like talking to him much anymore. Surprisingly. Mm. Or is he just like a guest on people's shows? Yeah, he's, they're, they're well, all Joe... mates. Yeah, they're all mates, but um, Joe... he's um a Brazilian jiu-jitsu dude. That's why he's got his own uh, gym and everything, man. It's called uh, Tenth, Tenth Planet. Brazilian jiu-jitsu uh, gym. He's got franchise, uh, franchise all, uh, yeah, all over the world. He's got gyms all over the world. Mm -hmm. Rotman says he totally believed Jones' controlled opposition after this BS trial. Yeah, that trial was so fucking ridiculous. It still still makes me laugh thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, it's fake as. It's fake as. You guys see that the, the fucking judge was so ridiculous. It's like treating at Jones like a child. Now, Mr. Jones, we told you what you can and cannot say. He's so stupid. And then Jones is just like keeping his mouth shut. It was <laughs> and then he came out, you know, they asked him about the whole pedophilia thing. And he, what did he what did he say? Oh, you mean like uh being like uh Jeffrey Epstein and uh, Bill Clinton? <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Cool. Oh man, everybody's face just like oh, they, they showed every like a bunch of different people's faces. <coughs> that the judge like, that was just a, that was that was they just a burn just moment. Right flabbergasted, there. it seemed like that was just a burn moment right there. I was I was gonna get find my sunglasses, but I couldn't find my sunglasses. So I was gonna have a bit of a smoke too. You know, the, oh you know, the, like the sunglasses. Like and the, Epstein and Bill Clinton. The sunglasses <laughs> and the. Oh yeah, cigarette with the joint, blunt hanging out. Yeah, yeah. I was trying not to do the. Right I was trying not to do the eye of Horace. That was a thug I... life moment. Uh, <laughs> life moment for Alex Jones. I swear I'm not part of the Illuminati either. No, Alex Jones always been living the thug life. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, you guys. I've been, I've been listening. I've been watching a lot of uh, Cliff I High. I don't know I if you guys heard. Of, I don't know if you guys, you guys heard of Cliff High. Who? Cliff High. C L I F High. Cliff High. Cliff Cliff High. Cliff High. Cliff like no, Cliff High. Heard of him? Haven't heard of him myself. Up. Cliff High. Look him up. He's Cliff High, as in High H I. H I G H, Cliff High. Hi, okay. C L C L I F H I G H. He's like a, he's American. He lives in uh, in uh, Washington State, and he's uh, he's an older dude. And he talks about he, he's try, he interprets a lot of this uh, stuff that's going on at the moment. Yeah, so, like he like yeah. reads between the lines. <laughs> yeah, he tries to interpret it. He tries to interpret it and. and Sticks out possible uh, you future what's really events going on. Or Yeah, he's similar to that. So, Mr. Jones, do you think that Mr. Jones was fucking the chewing of the gum was all part of the show? 
Probably. Has anybody seen him chew know. gum before, man? I don't Never. Know That's has. what I was saying last week. Do anybody ever remember I seeing Alex Burrows chewing gum at any time on any of his shows ever? I don't think so. Well, he doesn't. He doesn't sell gum on his show. He doesn't sell a uh, non fluoridated like gum. You know, gum. Not as smart as one gum. Direction. Yeah, that's it. maybe he could come out with that. It would be great product. For He's the one that warned me about gum. the aspartame in the gum. Gum that gives that's you a, an erection. <laughs> I want to get. Uh, hey, they should invent that erection gum. Yeah, <laughs> gives you an erection. Get, you know, I'd yeah. invent that. That'd be fucking mad, man. We call it, get we your call rock it, hard enhancement gum. Yeah, get, 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 get it while it's hard. Get your rock hard gum. <laughs> rock hard gum. Rock hard gum. Rock hard gum. <laughs> it's gonna turn only, the frogs only gay. Only at infowars.com. <laughs> only at infowars. You can get this rock Minus hard gum. It turns your dick <laughs> rock hard. <laughs> And plus, it has all kinds of other health benefits. Not only does it help <laughs> perform in the bedroom, it also it'll give you six pack abs too. <laughs> Comes in tangy tangerine flavor. Tangy tangerine flavor, which is very popular. It comes in green, <laughs> just like the frogs. <laughs> He's probably selling more product than ever last week. This week. Yeah, oh, it's cool. Went, went through the roof. He's I want to buy one of his t-shirts. I want to buy one of his t-shirts. Alex Jones was right because he was right. On, on, yeah, you know, sure Well, he, he was, but he's a, he's still I'm a sure shill. Make up all kinds of shit for about this trial and sell it on Infowars.com. It was a. It was I, a, should, I um, should make my own t-shirts. I would probably get myself an Alex Jones t-shirt. Or, or, or bootleg an Alex Jones t shirt for 23 bucks. There was a term coined <laughs> by uh, a guy called Matt, and he's got a channel called Quantum of Conscience. I don't know if you know who he is. But he, he coined a term for um, controlled opposition uh, channels, and he calls them graduated animal farms or graduated animal farmers. So they get they, they get people into their paddock, uh, and they keep them on their farm, and they, they're never uh -huh. allowed to leave. Yeah, they just get stuck there. You know, that's what Alex yeah. Jones is. It's a lot of people that are part of their flocks. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Joe Rogan's got a flock of sheep. Yeah. Alex Jones has a flock of mind, sheep. I don't mind Joe Rogan. I don't mind Joe Rogan. I have my but own I'm, flock it, of doesn't sheep. Mean, it doesn't mean that I'm you know what I go. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't mind his um who he they interviews don't call me and all that. For nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you got to start. He supports. You got to he start supports the latest. The gum. He always supports the latest thing, mate. That's his. That's a problem with Joe Rogan. Whatever the latest thing is, he's got the t-shirt. Mm. I support the latest thing. I support the latest. Yeah. Yeah. He's such a yeah. dick. You know how much they gave him? How much money he got <laughs> for his podcast? Oh, yeah, I heard he got some huge amount of money. Like, yeah. like three billion dollars or some shit. Yeah. Or, I don't oh, because supposedly he was uh, it was banned off, billion. Banned it off one billionaire, fucking, I think. He was banned off one platform supposedly, and then another one gave him gave him fucking free reign or something, didn't you they? Know. For a new contract. Yeah, so you know they got to give some people billions of dollars, you know, yeah. to be their little fucking sheep herders. <laughs> Shepherds. Shout out, to, shout out to Jerry G and uh, John Palmer. Joe who? In the house. John Palmer. Jerry G and John Palmer. Jerry G says you're obsessed with the gay frogs, Aussie. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get enough of it. They're turning out frogs, gay. <laughs> I heard there's a, uh, there's a hospital. The hospital's in, I think, Massachusetts. Are uh, allowed to uh, give sex change operations to children. Speaking of turning the frogs gay, geez. I suppose we can be. I suppose we can be grateful. It's not. It's not the the uh, the gay frog virus. They can give children sex change operations without even their parents' consent. I imagine. It's just it's, they're all fucking gone mad, but. You know, they just want to protect I have to, the I have to wear this helmet. 
I have to wear this helmet because uh, it's good. It's going to keep the monkey pox away. I got to wear this helmet. <laughs> well, no, I got to wear, wear this bicycle yeah. helmet. It's yeah. uh, the monkey be, pox. You know why? Poker. Because no gay man will come near you with that helmet on. Yeah, I've got, I've got the, <laughs> the, the, the the dark helmet on the dark helmet. Oh, well, not, I'm sorry, they're not gay men necessarily. They're just men who like to have sex with other men. It doesn't mean they're gay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess that makes sense here in here in the the twenty first century. Just because I'm you like I'm, that I'm, sex I'm, with other men, it doesn't mean you're gay. Okay, I guess that I'm dark. Sense. I'm dark helmet from uh, Spaceballs. You know that Rick Moranis guy from Spaceballs. Yeah, yeah. set it to like ludicrous it. speed. It, it suits you, man. That helmet. You know, you, All right, you, know, you look I'll, like I'll the, do it again. Um, a medieval warrior, like from the Lord of the Rings. Send it to ludicrous <laughs> speed. Yeah. Fuck yeah. That'll, that'll keep the monkey pox off of you. That, that will keep monkey pox off It's off most of likely you. spread by men having sex with other men. But they're not. that doesn't make them gay. Not like the gay frogs. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys, I guess. Yeah. The frog variant. It could be just a, a man who has chronic butt itch, and there's only one way to scratch it. <laughs> crab. I got crab. I got lice. I got lice in my my pubic regions. Can you help me with these lice in my anal cavity. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got to shoot him out. Uh, oh my gosh! So, Sex just fucking cracked me up. <laughs> <laughs> a fish frog had sex with a monkey fish frog. And that's what made what you look at in the mirror every morning, kids. The gay fish frog and the... <laughs> Mr. Hat, no! The monkey fish and the gay fish frog. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> That's one who I heard that one a long time ago. He's not gay, he just has chronic butt itch. <laughs> uh. I'm sorry, guys. The whole thing is just so goddamn ridiculous to me. I can't help but fucking make jokes about it. Because it's just so gay. <laughs> That's what we did back in my day. We made fun of the gays. We, we made jokes about them. Now it's a hate crime. Yep. Yeah. Now you're a homophobe. That wasn't a gay joke. That was an you're, Australian joke. Now it's homophobic hate crimes. <laughs> This is what the world has come to, folks. Can you believe it? I watched a uh, South Park episode. I watched um, an interview uh, at um, a Freedom Summit that was held in Nevada, <laughs> and um, John Cleese was uh, talking about wokeism and how it's destroying culture, you know, around the world. You know? <laughs> He's 82 years old, man. He's still smart as, mate, and he's he's on point. Yeah, you uh -huh. should, should check that out, man. John Cleese, yes. I think I know who he I is. I think it was, um, it's only from like three days ago, so. <laughs> Bag old jokes from Greek. Like one of he came my... out and he said, he's talking about, uh, he was talking about comedy, you know. Do you know what and, AIDS um, stands for? Yeah, arse injected death sentence. <laughs> <laughs> well, we call we we always said anally injected death sentence. Yeah, anally injected. <laughs> uh, very good, very good. Yeah, I was watching this video yesterday about this this guy was going around asking people the most basic questions and they just fucking couldn't. Have, they didn't know the answers. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, I oh, mean, yeah. how dumb are people, man? But he, you know, the guy would just sit there and go, "Yeah, you're right," even though they gave him the wrong yeah, answer. You're right. that's, yeah. that's correct. 
<laughs> when was what year was the war of 1812? Yeah, uh, 1822, wasn't it? 1815? 1820? Yeah, <laughs> some, yeah. some of the people he was talking yeah. to, you couldn't tell if they were male or female. Yeah. Uh, kind of androgynous looking, some of them. How many people are there in the world? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Five like trillion? Tri that one woman said like 22 trillion. 22 trillion? <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's like, these people can't be real. I mean, he must only he must only you know, edit in the dumb ones, you know, like edit he out. Asked, he asked like five people. There couldn't be that what, many what stupid you... people in the world. He asked the same question to about five different people. What what is three times three times three? Yeah. Okay, well, three yeah. times three times three. It's uh, mm -hmm. nine. Nine. Yeah. nine. It's just hard to believe that these people are actually that stupid and they can function in, in the world. I mean one of them gotta, said I just it almost I, seems I, like I they gotta finished, be acting. I just finished college a few years a couple of Sadly, years ago. They're not. I, I can't remember everything. Yeah, I just I just finished. <laughs> That was that androgynous fucker, right? Yeah, that person was college, college and everything. What the fuck? Was this was what this, was this like? um like a Mark Dice? Was this like a Mark Dice no, kind of inspired? Yeah. Yeah, he's a, a young guy. guy. Yeah. He's not Mark Dice. Oh, he, yeah. I, I, think I, think seen, in, I think I've seen him, but, but he does like Mark Times Dice. Square, wasn't it? Wasn't it in Times Square in New York? I think. Pretty sure. Yeah, know. these are just then, common knowledge questions. Most of them, I mean, very simple. Yeah, but is this is this like um? Is he, does he ask like um? Mark Dice kind of is it's yeah. like Mark Dice kind of shit. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah a, and, it. It. and no matter he, what they he, say, he, he just, just says him. yes. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he, doesn't, he doesn't give any reaction or anything, and they're half of them are all wearing masks and everything as well. So, so that's yeah. the fun. You, you know, like you say, when there's a war of 18, she's giving them the answer right in the question. They say, huh? Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, it's, it kind of makes me think of that idiocracy movie. Yeah. Welcome, welcome to Costco. I love you. See, like the people in idiocracy were smarter than these people <clears throat> nowadays. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> welcome to Costco. I love you. Welcome yeah. to Costco. I love you. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do know some people that are like that. They just have no common knowledge whatsoever. I mean, it's ridiculous. I've worked with i worked with people in a warehouse, truck drivers that are like that. They, they're Ooh. just like, yeah, like being smart is like gay or something, you know? <laughs> like like yeah, in the movie, it's just bag like in, in you a be, There's that fag talk again. If you're, talk. If you're so if you smart, know that's stuff retarded. and you're smart, then you're a fucking asshole. Don't be so retarded. <laughs> My wife, yeah. she was retarded. Now she's a pilot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. <laughs> now she's a lots of people. That's a retarded. Now she's a pilot. <laughs> yeah, it's really that. That that was definitely. Idiocracy was definitely a fucking, how do you say? I'll show you, I'll show you the clouds that we got here, right? I mean, it's fine with mine having to go, right? Can you see that? Think. Oh. Let's see. I saw I had a video it here that I wanted to I don't think it I don't think it is you guys. Like slightly. If I could find this video, maybe I'll share it. So it's yeah, it's, shit out of it. This video right here, hold on. There's an ad here, hold on. Skip ad. Pause. Okay. Let's see. Share screen. Let's see. Uh, higher screen. Share screen. 
Let's see, how do I find it? Okay. There we go. Let's see. Can you see that? Yeah. This video, this Carl Vernon video. Let's watch it's it. The views we're trying to protect. This river supports our oh, this is another and ad. way of life. Michael Bennett knows that. He's Fuck fighting Michael to protect Bennett. hundreds of thousands of acres of public land because he knows why this matters. Is this a president? For not president that had admitted this many provable criminal acts. What are the provable criminal acts, I guess? Provable criminal acts. Well, I'm just, I'm just, I, I'm done talking. Orange man bad. Orange man bad. Orange man bad. Orange man bad. Criminal criminal acts, acts, I guess. Criminal criminal acts. Acts. Well, well, I'm just, I, I, I'm, done, I'm talking. done talking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's pretty funny, that guy. Yes. He's pretty funny. Um, <laughs> he, he does, like, he, it's, it's short stuff, but it's funny, you know, like. Yeah, that was a good one. Because the guy was just like, well, tell me, tell me one thing. He couldn't think of nothing. I'm just done talking to you. And then the part with the, uh, all the news anchors, Orange Man bad. Oh, yeah. Orange Man bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's exactly what it is, man. It's so funny. It was just like, hey, did you did you see did you see the uh, the sky I showed you before? Which one? Uh -uh. You see this? Oh, I was showing you the sky that outside. I was just going outside for a bit. They're spraying us again with chemicals. This is the country in Idaho. That's right. The, then they asked that one guy, "What do you know? What language they speak in Idaho?" <laughs> he couldn't think. He couldn't answer that one, man. I'll we'll show you. Yeah. you. Australians probably even know what's. What fucking language they speak in Idaho? Idahoan. Idahoan. <laughs> have, uh, have a look at this. Uh, have a look at this. These clouds. Are they uh -huh. real clouds here? What are they? Hard to tell. Yeah, I've got the same shit on my screen. Let's see. Again. I can show you. If I could put turn my camera on, I'd show. Whoa. It's raining again. Let's see. Yeah. We can, uh, it's just one big fucking cloud of shit. Yeah. Cloud of is that what it is? All sprayed. I don't even want to go outside because when I when I go outside, you can smell it. You can smell the fucking chems, mate. Huh. Yeah. No point in going outside. You can fucking taste it. Smell it. Yeah, I was hurt. I, I saw a video was a uh, high impact flicks was talking about like they're saying that all the water, all the rainwater in the world now is unsafe to drink. Yeah, I, I think I, I, I collected some rainwater the other day and I, I tried drinking it and it was like it just tasted so metallic. I'm like, no, I'm fucking drinking this again. Yeah, I wouldn't drink <laughs> rainwater. Yeah. Uh, Especially now, no fucking. I mean, we are, but yeah. But yeah, like well water, at least it gets filtered through the earth, you know. Yeah. But yeah, rather straight out of the sky. Saying, yeah, it could be. Yeah, well, that's the water we're supposed to drink, the water from the ground. Right? It's got all the minerals in it that we need. Yeah. Uh, I, I've been drinking it for a long time. It seems to be doing me all right. And I, I feel safe drinking well water. I don't feel safe drinking city water or bottled plastic water. The well water, I think, is, I don't know. It hasn't killed me yet, so we'll see. Isn't it strange how all the uh, all the water reservoirs are running dry, yet there's floods everywhere? So we're running out of water, but we've got floods? <laughs> how does that work? Yeah, my, my grass, it it, here. It's, been, it's been raining, right? And my grass is dry. Well, my, I could even show you. Look. 
Don't even that's say how, it. Don't you understand, Prime? And that's how fucking climate change works. Oh, that's how climate change works. So yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna get educated. Press the bit. I need more edu- education. There's global warming, but it still gets cold as fuck. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It all makes sense. It always makes, none of it ever makes any sense, and it doesn't have to. We just need to pay more taxes to fix it. It's just the way the world works now, okay? Yeah. Ever since the 21st century started. And even beyond that, but yeah, it seems to have really changed in the 21st century, right? Really? Amazing. Different world, man. <coughs> you can't go by the way the world used to be. I'll tell you, I'll tell you something strange that happened to me. Like, uh, I haven't been sick at all since all this bullshit started, right? Oh. Thursday, I was I was fine until the weather turned to shit. And it really came down hard. The rain came down really hard on Thursday, right? <coughs> and when I got home, I started feeling run down, started coughing shit up. I thought, oh, here we go. I'm starting to get sick, you know? Uh-huh. So, yeah, I've been been treat, treating myself, you know, with uh, vitamin C and lemons and rest, you know? Rest, rest is good. And I got over it. I'm a firm believer in rest. I get lots yeah, of I rest. Pretty much, I pretty much cured myself, but I believe the weather event that we had on Thursday was the cause you know and i wasn't even in the rain man i, I was hardly hardly in the rain at all i was driving you know mm. so have a look at this now. right it's been, it's been rain and we're on and on hey, right? Ken, have a look at this. Hey. i thought i can't stream that... so i'll go on someone else's <laughs> oh it's good so i'm glad you're still doing this, right? hey how you doing <laughs> <laughs> My MCU is great. Predicament with the YouTubes. It looks like yeah, my area, Aussie. Looks yeah, just that, like grass that. Is, that grass is fucked. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm. this is my front lawn, right? So, yeah, all, the, all this is supposed to prop up. There's green, there's the green uh, The fucking killing the grass, huh? Fuck. Oh my gosh. That's bizarre, man. And there's, and there's the cloud. There's the cloud there surrounding it. It's all fun. And yeah. if you say anything about it, you know, you're a conspiracy theorist. That's yeah. it. Uh, it's totally natural. Totally natural. Nothing to see here. Yeah, nothing to see, folks. Don't be spreading misinformation on my chat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't allow that. I don't allow misinformation whatsoever. Not going to stand for I'll, it. I'll show you outside here. It's pretty similar. Actually. Yeah, Ken's got my view. Pretty much the same as his. Yeah. It's really it's probably the same. Way. Way. Looks pretty similar. Yes. Ooh. we got the same sky. He's only you 20 minutes away from it. Too. But, and it's windy as the dogs don't want to go outside. They're, but they're resting. And Annie was pretty good this morning. Is she all right now? Yeah. yeah, she's a lot better. Yeah, she got better as the day went on. And That's good. Uh, Bruno knocked her over. Yeah. Yeah, it's, sometimes yeah, it's tough with dogs. It was my niece's birthday and everyone went to the pub, but I decided to stay home and look after my puppy dog. She comes first. Uh-huh. Yeah. But we had a nice day. Dog always comes first. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, fuck family functions. Yeah. Um, yeah. Much. I'll come and pay you a visit shortly, mate. Ken? Sorry, pardon? After this, I'll come and see you. Yeah, yeah, when you're feeling better, buddy. Yeah. 
I've been filming down the food like last week. I was having lemon and honey drinks because, you know, people, the healthcare workers had come here. They've got the flu and stuff as well. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. sorry, I'm having a, and they'll wear the mask because they're sick, but it's not going to stop it. If they're sick, they should stay home, the fucking idiots. It's, it's flu season. Yeah, for fuck's sake, of course. But, you know, you just got to stay healthy and uh, eat <laughs> well. And yeah, you're all broken the back of it, mate. <laughs> I just had a mild man flu, mate. Away. I'm over it. Yeah. Uh, so. Oh, no. But yeah, you're right about the, answer, the weather. You gotta, you gotta expose yourself to it and then get over it. Can't hide from it. Yeah. There's um, like these healthcare workers. It's hopeless to try to to try to protect yourself from getting sick. You're gonna get sick yeah. anyway. Like you should smell the fluoride here. I noticed that as soon as I got here, it was like, what the hell have they done to the water? It wasn't like oh, this a year ago. Like in city water, I hate. It just stinks like bleach when you turn the tap mm -hmm. on. It's like this is yeah. Fun. That's how I notice that too when I go down when I'm out down in places where there's city water. It never used to be this bad. It was, it was like bleach, and all kinds of shit. They've just I'm not added used to it. That. They've only added it. I can't stay. You can't stay in the shower. Ah, yeah, the, no. the, fucking, the chlorine. The chlorine nearly knocks you out. Though. It does. Yeah, you're in the you're in the shower with that water. And if Ken I shower water. too much, I get sores from the fluoride. You know, it's the chlorine. Terrible. Yeah. Ken, are you, you're in Frankston, yeah? Yeah, Franger. Yeah. yeah. There, there's a I think it's Caram Downs or something, or close like on the way to Caram yeah. or something. There's like a water treatment plant there. Yeah, there is, yeah. Probably yeah. it's probably yeah, coming from there. They're probably they're probably dumping all the poison in there, and then it's going into the pipes. At least we'll try. I guess if I lived in the city, I would at least put a filter on my water coming in. Well, in know, those water pipes, in it. I would never even. Purple. I wouldn't drink then it. it. Pink, then it goes clear. Yeah. So that's how it's, they treat it. Yeah. You can yeah. treat the water, you know, if you know what this you're doing. This stuff looks like deep purple. Clean it up. And they put it in. You let it set for a while. A lot of the chemicals bleach out of it. You know, they just evaporate, and then you filter. You can filter it. You know, boil it. Do some shit. Hey, all new, more of the shit out new of it. houses here. I'm going to fill the houses. water three times here. Plus, the all new houses in um, in Victoria that have been built for, in the last two years. They all come with. Two garden taps. One's called recycled wastewater for garden use only, which is recycled Rewater. sewage. Mm -hmm. It's recycled sewage and it's not to be drunk. It says not to be drunk. Right? It's a yeah. different coloured. Yeah, tank. I've seen that. I've seen, I've seen that. Yeah. I thought it was it's all like over, all over the shower and all and new houses. Yeah. And the other one's your, your fresh water. I don't no. think they use a sewage one, though, do they? I'm sure it's... Yeah, that's, the what it, that's what it is, mate. Yeah, that's what it is. Isn't is it the yeah. grey water? like The, the grey water is just the bathtub, I think, or the shower. And, and, and the, the, the washing machine. No, no, washing no. Machine. Yeah, no, the purple yeah. one's fucking recycled sewage, mate. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> you want to spray oh, that on your garden? We're astronauts mm. on ISS all of a sudden, aren't we? Yeah, it's good enough for them. Drinking our own piss. And yeah, they drink piss, so, you yeah. what, know, what, it's good enough for them, mate. It's good enough for us. Yeah, it's, it's water's a big fucking crisis here in the West, for sure. <laughs> really using it to control people now. Yeah. Purposely fucking emptying the, the reservoirs, in my opinion. You know, Lake Mead just didn't go fucking dry because... If you drink too much recycled piss water, your hair goes straight. It turns curly hair straight, apparently. It makes it stick straight up. I remember a Judge Dread comic story, and uh, in it, this reporter finds out that Mega City One has been putting um, mm. chemicals in the water to keep the population <laughs> sedated. But that's... And he's going to expose it all to the world, and then Judge Dread finds out, and he locks him up for thirty years in an ISO cube. So yeah, right. <laughs> the truth never gets out. You know? <laughs> but you know, that's it's what we like, get. Wow, well, they're, they're really in the age of climate to change. That's what happens when you're living through a climate change crisis, folks. 
Uh, water is going to get bad. Nazis, that's what the Nazis did. That's what the Nazis did. In, uh, World War II. You're going to have to eat Soylent Green. Cyclone Four or something. Uh, it's the climate. We're still paying price. one. We're still paying one point three million dollars a day for a desalination plant to provide water because we were going to run out of water uh, ten years ago. One point three billion. But surprisingly, a day. we've had a lot of floods and all the dams are full. And we don't we don't even need it. We don't use it. And then when the farmers need it, they won't even give it to them. Yeah, well, it doesn't go to the farm. Well, we got it. It's mm -hmm. suddenly a flood. So yeah, it's really weird. Man. So now, yeah, we have a lot of wet, rainy seasons in the West Coast in California. And somehow it doesn't seem to do any good for the drought. The drought persists. They call it a mega drought, right? It's been going oh, on. Yeah. For over twenty yeah. years. Yeah, we had we had that down in Gippsland. It was like last ten years was like a real drought. But I remember not too many years ago there was a fucking shit ton of rain that hit California. So it's just like this rain hits California and just causes all kinds of shit, damage, floods, roads wash out, people's houses wash away. You know, there's fucking fifty feet of snow in the mountains. But it just doesn't seem to ever do any good for the fucking climate change mega drought. <laughs> I just can't seem to capture any of it. Ah, the mega drought persists for some fucking reason. You know, I was at the down by the creek the other day. It's, the creek up here is flowing real good. We're here in the, the end of the summer and it's still fucking raging pretty good. I don't see this fucking mega drought really. We've been getting plenty of rain here in the last couple of weeks. You know, we had a, we had kind of a dry spell towards the middle of summer. Got I mean, some how hard how hard would it be for them to fucking capture some of the, the fucking melted snow from where you are and fucking mm -hmm. take it to fucking California? You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean it's just they're purposely causing this fucking situation, in my opinion. But, you know, that's just me. You know, I got the, I got a. I'm I'm what the one of those Alex Jones types. But isn't you know? isn't a Calif isn't California like uh, the food table for America? So it's like they, I think it's like sixty percent of the produce is uh, grown in uh, California, California, and most mm -hmm. of the oranges are as well. Yep. Yeah. California's got a yeah. shit ton of farmland. Yeah. Just go, yeah. just drive to the California farmland. It's like, it seems. All of our oranges, all of our oranges used to come from California, man. So much farmland there that's, and I think a lot of that water comes out of fucking Lake Mead. And yeah, yeah. Especially, you know, in Southern California. Yeah, so all the oranges all that they used to sell in, their, in our supermarkets came from California. They used to, I don't know about now. But, you know, like a lot of California has, doesn't even get water from Lake Mead. Don't chase the pigeon, but, stupid dog. But they got their own drought going on in, you know, the, the Sierra Mountains of California and shit, where they get their the water for the big chunk of farmland in the San Joaquin Valley. Big, yeah. huge area of, of farmland. There used to be a couple of huge lakes there, I found out, in, in San Joaquin, and they drained them like in the early 1900s. No, I didn't know that. I just recently learned that. It's caused all kinds of fucking problems. Of course, whenever man starts fucking around with nature, now that's what we're we're dealing with now, right? Everything is that they did a hundred years ago is all fucking, you know, blowing up in our faces now, right? All the damage that you know they all oh, by damming up all this water and shit. Now it's all turned to shit, <laughs> right? The 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 two dams and, and the water's been. Were, Water's been about privatized ready to, by... to go to what they call Deadpool, which means yeah, no water's more water been privatized through by, the dam. By mega corporations as well, man, like Nestle too, isn't it? And they're they're at, they're real close to the point of no longer producing electricity. Which they say like those those two dams, you know, they uh generate enough electricity for like tens of millions of people. Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. 
So they, they quit, those dams quit producing electricity. It's going to be a pain in the balls. Yeah, a lot of, yeah, a lot of people here, even here in Colorado, some parts of Colorado get electricity from Hoover Dam. And like also uh, in the Glen Canyon Dam, which creates Lake Powell. And uh, that one's even closer to, to losing the ability to create electricity they say, oh, even, even if it quits making, it won't be the end of the world, you know. It's, they usually use it just for, like, extra electricity where they need it to back up the rest of the power grid. Water, water's unsustainable. We have to use solar panels now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> or, or nuclear energy. Right. Don't hear much about that these days. So, you know, some interesting theories about that, that those things don't even really... They're not even real. That's an interesting conspiracy. Yeah, that hasn't caught on here yet, but I'm sure it will. Some people say that they they that nuclear reactors aren't even real. They're, they're really weather manipulation devices. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's possible, man. Joint kettles. They, they, what they do is they take electric extra electricity off the grid. This is the theory, and they boil water. Yeah. And they use and they could boil as much water as they want to boil to manipulate the weather. I'm, I'm not saying it's true or not. This is just one of the theories that I heard about what nuclear reactors could really be. You know, they do produce <clears throat> heaps a lot of. Uh, they do, do produce a lot of um, cloud, don't they? A lot of water vapor. <laughs> yeah, that's what they're saying. Yeah. yeah. Can they be produce more or less when they want to, you know, control it? You know, you can see, I've seen, you know, like videos where they show like satellite shots of it. You can see clouds coming out of them and yeah. affecting the whole weather system. Yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me, man, when I learned about how many lies we've been told, right? You know, yeah. tell us the goddamn truth about anything. <laughs> See, Joe Dirt was said that he was born in the San Joaquin Valley. And yes, I can't spell it. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a, J, a U after the J. Yeah. It's the only thing got wrong, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. The San Joaquin Valley. It's Spanish, man. You know, you gotta, gotta spell it Spanish. Conquistador. So yeah, wouldn't that be pronounced uh, Joaquin? Wouldn't it Joaquin. pronounce Joaquin? Man, Joaquin, yeah. Joaquin, Joaquin. The J is silent. It's pronounced like a W yeah. in Spanish. Jalapenos. It's jalapenos. No, you can, jalapenos. You can Ricky. Like w or jalapenos. H. The J is silent, Ricky. God, the, the English silent. language is stupid. Huh? With all the silent letters. I love jalapenos. She is <laughs> jalapenos. Jalapenos. I, know, I know the difference Jay between jalapenos silent. and jalapenos. I just want Jay jalapenos. Jay silent, right Ricky. <laughs> Jay, Jay silent. silent, Ricky. <laughs> Damn it, Ricky. Jalapenos are jalapenos. <laughs> no, they're not. They're different. I want jalapenos. I would get jalapenos. I want jalapenos. Jalapeno. <laughs> What did he call them? Jal jalapenos. Jalapenos. Yeah, jalapenos. Jalapenos. I used to, I used to, you know, you know, I must admit, right? You know, when Subway first came out in Australia, yeah. I, I, but when I first ordered my sandwich, I said jalapenos. Of course you I did. Like but what else would you say? I, what's that? You know, guys don't have a bunch of Spanish words over there. No, we don't. <laughs> just said we got we got shit tons of Spanish words here, man. You, know? you learn a lot of Spanish just by living in the United in South Western United States. Everything has a Spanish name, you know. You, you know, you know when it's in Miami and even um, and even uh, New York, even even Miami and New York, um, they had they had a lot of Spanish people uh, live and work there. Surprisingly, New York is very uh, Spanish influence as well. Yeah, there's a lot of Puerto Ricanos. 
Puerto Ricans, yeah. a, lot, a lot of those in New York. I guess they speak Spanish. Well, my, uh, yeah, I think it was my uh, the housekeeper in my hotel. You know, the, the maids in the hotel? She mm -hmm. was like um, uh, Spanish or uh, Mexican or something. And she's speaking mm -hmm. to me and uh, like, hola, hola, hola. Hola, hola, hola. And, she's, and then she's, she thinks I'm going to know how to speak Spanish. I said, no, no Espanol. <laughs> you know, one thing I found out is <coughs> Mexicans and Puerto Ricans <coughs> fucking hate each other. Yeah, you have to excuse do. him. He's from Barcelona. For some reason, man. <laughs> Mexicans don't like Puerto Ricans at all. For some fucking reason. Puerto Ricanos, fucking like them. So yeah, there's for some reason there's there's a a hatred between Mexicans and Puerto Ricans. <laughs> I don't get it. But it's it's a thing. <laughs> yeah. I learned that when I was in jail in L.A. <laughs> there was a Puerto Rican guy in there, and man, the Mexicans fucking hate. Give them all kind. They, they would be telling me that guy's a fucking Puerto Rican, yo, man. Yeah, yeah, right. The Matrix. He always, uh, every year, he films the Puerto Rican uh, festival that they have in New York, man. Mm. And uh, they have a Puerto Rican festival, huh? Yeah. Cool. And it was, it was just on, yeah, last weekend, I think it was. And um, yeah, the cops, the cops tried to. Uh, Pull, pull the festival a day early like they, they wanted to shut it down on the Saturday but it was supposed to run through till Sunday yeah and they um, they, they blocked all the streets off man and set up barricades and all the Puerto Ricans didn't give a fuck man they're still driving around hanging out the windows and <laughs> doing burnouts and riding motorbikes fucking up and down the street doing whatever the fuck they want I used to know this guy from Puerto Rico was it yeah was it was I mean it was from he was from New York he was Puerto Rican, and he was yeah. hilarious. That guy was funny. Way yeah, talk. I got to know a lot of South Americans in uh, Jehovah's Witnesses growing up because, you know, you get to meet all the new brothers and sisters from around the world. <laughs> yeah. I'm tipping I'm Puerto Rico. It'd be a good place to go for a holiday, man. Oh, like I heard a, party a, lot, a lot of party. Americans love Puerto Rico. Yeah. You can live down there cheap too, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a parrot. It's really nice. And they don't have all the fucking laws of America, but it's a lot like America because it's American territory. Mm. But it's it's still it, it. They don't have all the shitty laws that we got here. Yeah. Like they didn't. Yeah. They didn't participate in the whole muzzle situation and all that. Yeah. It was. It was. It wasn't really. They tried, to, they tried to. They tried to do it to the people down there, and the people down there told them to fucking stick it up their ass. Yeah. Mm. Where's Puerto Rico? Exactly. It's like, it's like off the southeast coast of the United States, like down by Florida, kind of. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Off the coast there, yeah. It's down by Cuba and shit in that area, Caribbean. Mm. Oh yeah. Somewhere I've down. I've seen there. a lot of um, horror slasher movies where some american tourists go to puerto rica and then they wake up in some place their kidneys are taken or <laughs> yeah that's all they want you to believe that's what they want you to no believe way, mate, yeah, american movies like yeah rica. it's the same with mexico isn't it don't go to mexico yeah, the drug oh, cartel's gonna more, get you i think it's more dangerous to go to get las vegas not myself. safe there don't go there hey you want exactly. to you want to hear a story you know before i went to go over to the u.s right I was almost coaxed not to go because I, I was talking to a family, a, a friend of ours, right? And they were saying, oh, no, you, you're going to America. Well, I, just, I just watched the news. They had another shooting. They had a school shooting and, a, and all these shootings. It's dangerous. You shouldn't go. And I, I said, no, nah, that's all bull crap. It's all bullshit, man. It's dangerous you know? here, man. You don't. <laughs> And then, like, I came back to him and I said, oh, I didn't, I didn't come back in a body bag. I said, I walked the street that, late at night in L.A. I went to uh, walk the streets in, uh, late at night in uh, Vegas, Miami, New York. I didn't get mugged. I didn't get robbed. I didn't get a gun. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm fine. 
You have a lot of a lot of people down in Mexico say the same. Let's see. Like Max yeah, he's down there. Of America where a white man no one ever bothers him. I've been to Mexico. Hey, always people, been, always been always been the you know, all the first thing, I, the first thing about Mexico was everybody was trying to sell me something, man. Because I went to like all the <laughs> tourist, all the tourist areas, right? Yeah, it sounds like Bali, man. Yeah, Everywhere you go in Bali, they're someone's trying to give man, you a massage, trying to sell, you sell, you a <laughs> sell you a fucking watch. <laughs> so like, hey, you know, yeah, they're very well, aggressive. Uh, it's still uh, shit it's, to the American tourists. You know, you be, you'll be sitting at the hotel, and like you know, they got they got fenced off and walls around the hotel beach and shit. So like, the, 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 you know, the locals can't come in there. On, on well, the this black guy, I, I remember when I was. I remember when I was in LA. He's standing at the at the edge of the wall, holding shit over the looking wall like this to try to sell you shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember man. I was in. Uh, I remember I was in LA and I um I, I was at Santa Monica Beach and the, this guy, this black guy, came out of nowhere and he's he's literally just gave me hand it like just say this was the CD right. He's like handing me the CD like you got to take it. You got to take the CD. It's a, it's a good CD, you know. And I said, he's trying to sell it to no, you or give it to you? No, he's like he's like pushing it into me. I said, mate, what what do you you know and you, you can't like you had to kind of grab it because if you didn't, you <laughs> drop it, right? And he's like, I want twenty dollars for this. I want twenty dollars for this. It's got, it's got my, my rap rap music on there. It's got yeah, a, like a mixture of country rap music, music on there. I'm a bit of an artist, you know. And then he's like he's getting, he's, he's telling me, he calls me a fucking dickhead on the on the pier, like yells out to me. And there's like a cop <laughs> came out of nowhere, and he's and I'm like, and I'm like, like, and I, could, I couldn't dickhead. believe it. And I gave him the CD back, and he goes, "Oh, you're a fucking dickhead, man. You want to, you don't want to take my CD. What the fuck is wrong with you, man?" <laughs> I just walked off. I'm like, see you later, He's mate. Probably, you know, the guy probably needed to go I'm get some. I'm from down under, mate. I know, I know your style, mate. He was probably jonesing for drugs. What's that? He was probably right jonesing for drugs. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it was it was, a, it was a weird place. He needed, he needed he needed to get some crack real bad. Yeah, Hollywood and Santa Monica—they're the, the most weirdest places in America. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they are. Really, kind of reminds me of St. Kilda. It reminds me of St. Kilda here. It's like. Weird yeah, person. I was. I don't like Hollywood too much. I always get a fucking eerie feeling there. There's so many like weird people, oh. man. It's like now there's weird people like that everywhere. But back when I was a kid, it was like, you know, it was really weird. Like, like the whole world is now. That's how. That's how yeah. Hollywood was back it's, in the eighties. Like Hollywood, Hollywood's like an extension of like now. Now everywhere's Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Like exactly. Movie. Back in the back in when I was a kid, like in the eighties, it was like. It was like that in Hollywood, you know, really weird. Like, yeah. Gay people everywhere, and but, yeah, it was. You know. But now it's like that everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you can't. You can't. Yeah, that was weird because I was, you know, I'd be a young guy and like all these fucking gay men trying to fucking, you know, you know, get be aggressive and shit, like talking to you and shit, like get the fuck away from me, fucking weirdo. You know, you know yeah. just. When you're a 16 year old kid, you know, like yeah, me and my friends, we would go down to Hollywood, fuck around, you know, and just take the bus down there. Like, and there would always be people selling LSD and shit, you know. I mean, it was fun, kind of, but you know, if you go into certain areas, man, where we had to go into this one area to get the to get the acid, and that was like it was like this gay gay part of Santa Monica Boulevard. Oh man, that was fucking horrible. <laughs> but man, the acid was incredible. That was like that was like the first time I ever did acid. And I, it was yeah, it was good. I never had an acid trip like that ever since. But that way, nah, the did you, hear, last did, did you hear about what was it? Uh, South Park, where they, you know, the guys that created South Park, they went to the. I think it was the. They were nominated for an Emmy or something. For the South Park movie, and they um they dressed up as like Gwyneth Paltrow, so they had like uh, dresses and all that, and they're like and they're getting interviewed, but they're all high on on acid, 
<laughs> Did you hear about yeah, that story? Man. Where you see weird Matt, shit on Matt acid. Started Trey Parker. What's that? We're, when you're on acid and you see weird shit like that, it's not good. You're kind of no, but like they, these, these guys were tripping on acid and then they, I had they to get the hell out of Hollywood, out. man. <laughs> when I was tripping, they purposely, had, my only goal was to get the fuck out of Hollywood. Once I got out of Hollywood, I was fine. I had a great time. But the whole time I was in Hollywood, I was like freaking out. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Finally, I just stood on the side of the road and started hitchhiking. I got a fucking ride out of there. Back into my to the San Fernando Valley. It was beautiful, man. I remember man. I remember getting the train back to um to LA, right? And it like it was a bit sketchy in Hollywood, but when I got to like LA, when I when my train arrived in LA, I was I was going through the concourse to get out of the station, and this guy was like, he was just crazy. Like it was just even this getting out of the train station was sketchy, man. And there was bums everywhere, you know. There's a few bums here and there, and they're like spirit change, man. And it's like, man, okay, <laughs> I've come here to your country. I can barely afford to even keep myself alive here. <laughs> yeah, LA's so, fucking yeah. weird place. Uh, the whole, mm. even for, even still today, I imagine it's a little bit weirder than the rest of the world. It's still it's still yeah, ahead bad. of the rest of the world in fucking weirdness. <laughs> yeah. The train says. The trendsetters, but yeah, that's the world today is like Hollywood was in the eighties. <laughs> yeah, but you know, they, it, it makes sense because you know they they promote all that shit and all the Hollywood movies and stuff. You know, the garbage culture that they push on the people now. Like the people, you know, like like the guy on the street asking people simple questions that they can't answer. But they know all this other worthless information, right? About sports and I, I can't and even I can't even believe I can't even believe that people don't know what uh, what was it? Uh, three times three times three is. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, I think Tom was saying before he goes uh um was, that guy was asking uh, people on the street what three times three, oh, three, three times three times three, yeah. <laughs> that, could, that could be a trick question. Uh-huh. Yeah. They can't answer without using their calculator. Look. <laughs> These are college graduates, too, supposedly. See, John Palmer's talking about the minor attracted people thing. Yeah, I was hearing, I was watching a video about that today. Pretty fucked up. And, and like, if you couldn't get, if you, you, know, if you couldn't work that out, attracted, you know, they can't help themselves. If you, you couldn't work that out, you were passing to. fourth grade when I went to school. This right? person was saying, this, this, you know, pretty prominent person that you know has influential, whatever. This woman was talking about it, like saying how it was just a normal thing to be minor attracted and all that, and, and they're being persecuted and. I think it was on the InfoWars channel. Because the correct answer doesn't matter anymore. That's how the education system works, you know. Whatever the consensus is, that's everybody agrees. That's the right answer. We're not calling pedophile perverts anymore. They're minor attracted persons. <laughs> They're sick. That's all. They're I being see. wrongfully persecuted, and the guy's like, "Yeah, they should be persecuted." Going around. Oh, have you heard? New have you heard now. The, uh, they, they know they can't get a real person to fall in love with them and all this, you know. So, you know, all they can do is fucking brainwash a child to have sex with them, basically. Have you, have you heard the latest update to the LGBT? The, oh, what, um, oh, yeah. Gays against groomers. Or is it uh, man no. love? Man, yeah. Man boy <laughs> love. The man boy love association. <laughs> yeah, so they're um, Marlon they're Brando, gonna, they're gonna, Marlon yeah, Brando they're Association. They're gonna they're Marlon Brando, pe- uh, appreciation they're association. legalizing pedophilia now. Man. Yeah, they're normalizing it for fuck. I don't know, but you know. Yes, that's when the last. I imagine second. only for that certain people, but for the rest of them, they're still pedophile perverts, and they'll be thrown in prison. But if you're one of them. It's okay. You're just a minor attracted person. Yeah, you're just attracted to children. That's, you know, there's a, nothing wrong with that. It's just, 
they can't help it. You know. cannibalism, aren't they? You know. So what? You next? know, they were and it was talking about you know they they they, they use the code term pizza. You know, we knew it was coming, man. We knew this was. going to happen. They, they want people to say, well, I need a pizza map. You know, map, M A P. Yeah. Minor attracted person. No, oh, yeah, right. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, someone was making a connection. It's like, because they were talking about, well, if I'm coming to town, I'm going to need a, a pizza map. They haven't just been grooming children, mate. They've been grooming society. Pizza. They've been grooming society for the last 20 years, for this time, haven't they? It's called Domino's the pizza. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, they, uh, and they use that symbol. There's a symbol they use. It was in that, that one pizza place in Washington. I can't remember the name of it, but yeah, the whole pizza gate thing, you know. Yeah. And then, yeah, uh, that, and then that, that came up with the Alex Jones trial, right? Yeah. <laughs> Is it all just a coincidence? It's all fucking weird. Oh, you mean like Jeffrey Epstein and uh, Bill Clinton? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I shouldn't, I shouldn't laugh at that stuff, but man, it was, it was pretty damn funny. Yeah, I was part of the show, obviously. I imagine it was all part of the show. But the, those those people did a good job of acting flabbergasted. <laughs> That's the only word I could think of to describe it. Well, they were I flabbergasted. Don't what, what case, I don't know what case was worse. The uh, the oh, yeah, yeah, like uh, uh, Jeffrey Epstein and uh, Bill Clinton. Oh, we had no idea. <laughs> I don't. I didn't know what, what what case was worse. The uh, the Amber Heard case with Johnny Depp or the uh, uh, Alex Jones case. Hmm. Yeah, oh, I mean, yeah, obviously, yeah, Alex Bill Jones Smith. is much more Bill talked Smith, about Chris in the media. <laughs> well, it wasn't the case. No, I don't whenever you see what, any court case televised, I can't even remember what the, you know, it's bullshit. The Amber Amber Heard Johnny Depp thing was it? Was it defamation? Uh, I don't know. I can't, yeah. I, 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 was, it, was it Johnny Depp suing her for defamation? Because she said, Yeah, she, she started off charging him. And trying to uh, do a me too thing, and then he charging him with defamation. Yeah. What, what, what does she charge him with? You know, uh, psychological abuse or something. Bad acting. Oh. Bad yeah. acting. <laughs> Not nothing to do with pedophilia or anything like that. Or uh, my the, uh, You know, he wouldn't let her in one of them Caribbean movies. Was he having yeah. sex with gay frogs? <laughs> <laughs> Turn the freaking frogs gay. Yeah, that she would all make sense. In Aquaman, These people are frog attracted. And they like gay frogs. It's <laughs> all in yeah. the DMT. Mal took the DMT. Minor attracted. That's great. Hitler what the fuck will they the think DMT. of next? You know, they're not... <laughs> We don't call them bestiality anymore. They're they're animal attracted persons. <laughs> they're animal attracted persons. You know, it happens. There's so certain amount of people out there who are gonna be turned on by animals. Some are attracted to minors. Some <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. You can't help it. You know, they're trying, you know, they're trying to uh, tie it in with being gay and shit. So like like Pyman was saying, they're trying to join the LGBT. Did you hear next, about next this? People will be marrying monkeys. Teacher. You'll be marrying a monkey soon. LGBTQMA. Did, that, did that you hear about sounds, this yeah. kid uh, in class? This teacher, she you know teaching them all pronouns and shit, and she gets on TikTok saying, "Oh, this this boy in my this uh, boy in my class." Um, I forgot to use his pronoun. He, he, he corrected me and said, Excuse me, but he didn't use the proper pronoun. What was his pronoun? Him, his he pronoun, he said, was, his pronoun, he said, was banana. <laughs> and, uh, she goes, I don't know if he was taking it serious or whether he was uh, making fun of me, but 
So now I have to call him banana. So you know? he's he's he. He's too identifies stern. as a banana. Even though, you know, like he's having a big does that, joke. Does that mean he identifies as a banana? Yeah, he was having a having a laugh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. That's, yeah. that's what, what kids, kids should be doing say. that more. Just make fun of it. You know, they're trying to I'm a banana push this shit one. on kids. They it's banana, insane. them banana, those bananas. Uh, you know, well, and then when they're they pushing this shit yeah. on children. Kids. 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 All right, this is a banana. Transgenderism, <laughs> and now yeah, they're starting to allow kids to have sex <laughs> changes in hospitals. Uh, banana's a good, good breaky. I uh, identify as a banana. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see if I can wear this for the end of the show. How could they, you know, just the sexualization of children, man, it's just got to fucking stop. Yes. You know, it's insane. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I identify as a banana. Identifying as a banana. Okay. I get it now. Oh, yeah. You can be whatever you identify as. <laughs> There's just nothing I'm good about school, school anymore, 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 man. <laughs> well, I, I want to get about. out there and stop all the uh, dog fighting rings, but I, I can't do that on my own. So it's the same. No, with no, man, cool. How uh, can anyone fucking do anything? When that makes me sick. So little people are willing to do anything. On you know? fighting rigs, man. Uh, they, you know, yeah. those people should be fucking Most people think it's forced fiction. to fight to the death. Oh, mm. mm. uh, well, I better have something to eat, I guess. <laughs> it's nearly one o'clock. Well, 22. <clears throat> yeah. And schools are looking more and more like prisons every day, man, from the outside. Mm. Oh, and everything. Yeah, I always thought of that when gray. I was a kid. What, what, why is everything grey lately? All the buildings, McDonald's is grey, uh, Bunnings is grey, everything's grey, grey, grey. I went into the Bunnings with my sister. She wanted an outdoor setting, and you know, three quarters of them were all grey and grey. want to make and the world grey barbecues and grey uh, pergolas. Everything was fucking grey, and I'm going. I think I'm seeing what's actually happening. We're slowly introducing communism. Communism. Yeah, no, you know, just it's also, you know, making the world just not a great place. So people just yeah, don't want to be out. No imagination. Stay at home. No, no one's made to have imagination anymore. Yeah, they don't want people to have imagination. They There's want no people to in Hollywood enjoy themselves and, and go out and have a good time. And they want them to be miserable everywhere they go and walk around like fucking zombies in the gray world with their muzzles on not talking to each other looking at their phones this, yep. is, what they, this is what they've created you know it's what i see everywhere i go people get together in this area and they don't talk to each other you know i talk i say this every week they're just looking and life sucks so badly they all jump into the metaverse and i'm the only person that's not looking at a phone because i don't yeah, have one cubicles i just sit there and observe everybody around oh. me these idiots all fucking staring at their phones they think they're they're being enlightened by their phones and they're getting all the latest information but really they're just getting garbage propaganda <laughs> they don't look they believe everything That's why they're they told. Want robot cars they don't want us, they don't want us going where they don't want us to go mm, you know, exactly to stay That's, in uh, our that a lot the the new when the the driverless car comes out. It'll only go certain places. Hey. It's just not a world I want to fucking live in. Hey, car, I want to go camping. Sorry, that designation. I can't believe that the expensive. people are allowing this shit to happen, man. We still yeah. can't. We still can't go. Uh, we can't stay in caravan parks, Aussie. Is that that's still that's still a thing, is it? All right. Mm -hmm. Don't even get me started on the homeless problem here. <laughs> I remember you were, t you were talking about um, a camping spot that you used to go to in Jindabyne. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that was that was that was uh, yeah, that was like years ago. I used to go there, and uh, but who knows? I didn't even know, like maybe they've dropped it. Maybe they've still um, have it. But uh, I know of another guy that that I know he. Um, Wanted to go to the Big Four Caravan Park, and that, I think uh, for a while they uh, stopped 
the uh, unused car on there, but I don't know. Yeah, I've, I've got, well, I've got no problem. Caravan parks, it's, it all depends on yeah, I've, got, I've got no problem at all camping, you know, in the wild, but my missus, she won't do it. She'll only stay in a caravan park. Mm. Yeah, well, I... I stayed in a cabin, like not a cabin, but a. It's like a. They have like caravans on site, so yeah. I just, I just remember staying in a cab. Like, like there was a few people that uh, camped, like actually, like had tents and everything. But yeah. I paid a bit extra and just uh, slept in the caravan. So they just had yeah. caravans on site there. So like the, you know, like the old, uh, like the caravan that's tents. Uh, they had like an old. Um, 60s one, whatever they call Yeah, it. Franklin. This is an old Franklin. Franklin, yeah. Yeah, I, I remember uh, saying a couple one, of old uh, Franklin ones. Yeah, I had a, three different types from this, this era. Uh, the last place, I, the place before, off mm. the grid. Um, <coughs> yeah, oh, have you got that, your own the caravan? Frame on this is still good, at, you know, all the frames. If you've got your own caravan, you can, just, you can just park at truck stops, mate. You don't have to go to a caravan, bro. Ah, that's yeah, right. but you know, you know, with the, you know, all these caravan parks, like a lot of them that cater to, um, you know, just like holiday makers. A lot of them, are, you know, people are going, are going to start to get sick of them. They're probably already losing about fifteen percent, ten percent of their their oh, business. They say you know? D now too. Yeah, yeah, yeah so I mean, they've raised their prices up. It means that they're uh, they're losing customers. So yeah. Uh, well, there's a caravan well, park I could have stayed at. But, that's uh, why all the small businesses went broke, uh, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, knew, I knew one caravan park. They said I could <laughs> stay there, but I, uh, no, not in a million years. It was like full of ferals. <laughs> <laughs> yep, as, as the homeless population keeps growing here, more and more places are <laughs> criminalizing it. Uh, uh, you're not allowed to sleep on state property <laughs> or in a car or you know um yeah, you're not even allowed to sit in me. one place for for and you're not even allowed to sit down uh, it's against the law they, they, people, they're passing laws on oh, a lot of these state the forests you're not, you're not allowed, even to, have allowed to sit down on state property and rest not allowed to take your dog you're, on state you're, forest, or you're committing a yeah. fucking crime well like sit, sitting on a bench or something just so anti-human these fucking scumbags that are that are destroying the human race well i guess you gotta be anti-human creating a park bench what's the crop and so they're they're waging economic warfare on everyone forcing them into homelessness and then fucking criminalizing for it so yeah it's yeah. just the writing's on the wall man they want us off I'm not even lawns i'm not even keen to travel in a state man to, to go camping just in case I get locked down, you know what I mean? Then I can't get back into Victoria, you know. What I mean? yeah, You're tired of us breathing. I can't air, even man. afford to go out in state anymore. Not even down the road. <laughs> I can't even afford to yeah. go on, on, a, on a short trip. Like that. It's definitely, <laughs> you can see the agenda 2030 is on the fucking wall and it's coming big time. It's so dear to travel now, you know, like. Just to go back to sale, it costs. They really, really do have this goal. One hundred and forty bucks. They want to get. They want to get it done before their stated time scale. I think. Yeah, of course they do. Yeah, Does everybody want to finish the job ahead of schedule? They're building new estates in Maui, Ken. Did you know that? Well, I've seen it all extending out, like Warrigal and Drilling. Oh my God! It's just sprawled out all the estates. Yeah. Yeah. They're just starting yeah. to build new estates here. Crazy. You, you, think, it, you think it was a coincidence that the, the Georgia Guidestones just fucking exploded? Yeah, that was a weird one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting timing, <laughs> too, huh? Not sure. All what these weird that things one. that are happening is interesting timing. Well, I, think that was, uh, I think that was more about destroying the evidence. Because like, easy, it's very easy for them to, to wipe the digital uh, history away. Once, once the physical history is gone, there's no way to prove that it ever existed. You know? <laughs> Except for all the people that remember it. And it won't yeah. be hard to get rid of them. We could just memory wipe them. 
a few the years. only people who remember are the people who know what, what's going on. All the dumb asses would never clue what it is. They'll just, they'll, and they turned on CERN, right? So it will create a Mandela effect. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about CERN. Right. But... I'm not too concerned agree, about CERN. But... Maybe a year from now, we won't even, none of us will even know that the Georgia Guidestones ever existed. Yeah. That's how the Mandela effect works. Oh, people forget in a decade. Who knows how many things that we don't that have already disappeared from our memories? Bible times, people forgot after seventy years, but our times, it's ten years. It's really strange, man. It's almost well, the, like yeah, the creation of the the, the Earth is an episode of the, of the Twilight Zone. The creation of the digital cloud is the equivalent of the modern day book burning, mate. It makes it easy for them to destroy history, you know. You know, the Twilight Zone was like telling us something about the real world. Fucking yeah. not what you think it is. Things aren't what they seem. <laughs> Something's wrong. It even, it even makes the Twilight Zone seem fucking normal. The real world. <laughs> and I just, love upload, that just upload all your videos and in your information to the cloud. Trust us. It'll be that was safe. my favorite show as a kid and I still love it. Makes Trust more us, we'll sense keep, we'll keep it in the cloud for you. It'll be safe in the cloud. Nothing to they worry didn't about. Make those Twilight Zone episodes just by coincidence. I don't think. We really oh, no. go back and look at them. It's full of predictive programming. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, when I, most of the time when I watched them, I was a kid, so I really didn't get you know the whole gist of the was story. There a, was there a color a color uh, series of the Twilight Zone? Because I can't find any yeah, color yeah. ones. Yeah. It was like made in the eighties, uh, I think. In the eighties, they made a series. Yeah, and the then new Twilight the Zone. They called it. It's called the New Twilight yeah. Zone. I remember watching the color all, ones, but they did one about. Five they weren't very years good, ago. I don't think. They weren't as good as the old ones. I can't find they any did, colored ones. They did one know. about five years ago as well, as in the eighties and I think the nineties. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've watched a few black and white Twilight Zones. So episodes, man, they were yeah. so good. Such good storytelling. Yeah. It was. I remember Bruce Willis was in one episode in the eighties. Oh, All the these big actors were in the eighties one. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, there was a lot of big actors in. There was. Yeah. I think they even did a movie, and like yeah, one of the actors was, died. That's right. Yeah, yeah in the eighties. A couple weird. kids that were in the in the in the scene, they all like crashed a yeah. helicopter or something. Morrow. What was his name? Someone Morrow. Uh, Vic Morrow. Vic yeah, Morrow. Vic was that him? Yeah, he died with the two kids because they used to build helicopters. Helicopter, helicopter trash. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Interesting. They almost got to pull the plug on the whole film, but um, they managed to cut out. I think right. I've seen it. it. Was not bad. Not a bad movie. The Twilight that story movie. was pretty poor because they had to. If I remember it right, it was it was a decent movie. It's yeah, there's four stories. Four movie. main stories. Yeah. Hey. It was four stories, yeah. It was like four episodes of the Twilight um, Zone in the movie. Yeah, one was about a kid he, he could control everything, you know. And Another one of those. Oh, that was one of the best ones. The, terrified of him and <laughs> the one with the, the old one with the kid? Uh, no, nah, the, the new of? one. Or, or yeah. In the movie. In the movie. But it was based uh -huh. on one in the in the old series, I think. Yeah. yeah. That and then there's the one kid. on the plane, you know, um, with uh, John Lithgow. So they were like uh, remaking old ones, kind of? Uh, the one on the plane with John Lithgow that had been done in the Twilight Zone too. I, I think, think so. Huh? Was, yeah, yeah. You kept seeing like a monster out of outside the plane. A gremlin, yeah. <laughs> they, they, apparently, they used to get around during World War Two. The gremlins and rip that was a good episode of the Twilight Zone. Yeah. Fly around and well, jump you know, you know the Twilight Zone, right? I only recall that gremlin episode was partly they done the Simpsons done like a. Uh, a, a send up of uh, Twilight Zone. That's the only. That's the only thing I knew about the Twilight Zone is from The Simpsons. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no word of a lie. So I've never, I've never seen the Twilight Zone. Man, I've heard it, I mean, there's some good, really, really. The, the English had a series. Um, oh. The UK series in the in the 60s called Out of the Unknown, and that was sort of like their Twilight Zone. And they're really way out stories. Though. Some were excellent, you know. Mm. Uh, but, yeah, the real world is <coughs> in the Twilight Zone anyway. So There's one a bit like Groundhog Day where this guy wakes up every day. It's the same day. and 
then he accidentally gets knocked unconscious in a cupboard and I got you, babe. That everything's I the got same. You, babe. The day <laughs> That's how it starts. Day, every morning. Yeah, he wakes up to that on the radio. Yeah, well that was from a from a story back in the sixties, yeah. And then that, man, there's another one, uh three no uh one twelve fifteen or something. Um, yeah, it's like that shit. It's the same day. Yeah. Yes. They live based on uh, three o'clock in the afternoon or something. It's they live? Yeah, it's based on a book. That's three it. I heard that there was someone was talking about making a remake of They Live. Uh, oh, no, please don't. Please don't. <laughs> and then on the other hand, it might be, it might be, be it's a classic. It might yeah. not be bad. Because, you know, the, the uh, real well, movie I, they live is kind of fucking a real shitty made movie. If you really look at it. You know, I mean, the story's awesome. But oh, I like the simplicity. It was so it was cheaply made, it was, like, ridiculous. But that's what, that's yeah, what but gives it its charm. That was John Carpenter's forte, making a low, low budget, but excellent movies. He, he made it work. Uh -huh. and, yeah. And, um, there are some... True but there's a lot of scenes where they, you know there's no dialogue and shit. I mean, I guess that's that's. I saw movie. it in the pictures when it first came out. I mean, was it the cinema for two weeks? There's a lot of scenes in that movie where they don't say nothing. He's just like walking. You know, just like doing all these. But that, I guess that's that's. I mean, like that's the slow build up in it and uh, telling the, the story like just by acting without without any words. You know. And the fact that the main hero is just a working class, average Joe Blow, homeless dude, you know, I mean, you know, they don't have characters that are so normal like that anymore, you know. Um, you all have to be from some fucking rich elite band. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, that's a great movie, man. I don't know. Yeah. On many different levels. Whatever shortcomings it has, it's yeah. strengths of it make it. Good. Yeah, knocking out a thing on top of a building. A <laughs> bit too easy, but yeah, I, I guess if I if they remade it, I would watch it just to see if it was any good. See how bad it was. Yeah. <laughs> Ghostbusters 2016. Oh, my with some God, modern, more modern special effects and shit. But what? Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Oh, I don't. I don't think I've ever seen that. That one with all the females in it. It was. Mm, it was just, never. I had to one. watch it to see how bad it was, and it was even ten times worse than I thought. Yeah, they just just freak in the last, you know, in the modern times, they just purposely make shitty fucking movies. Like they're actually getting around singing in it, you know, like what? You know, just ridiculous you know? movies that are just a reflection of the ridiculous world. <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous yeah. movies for a ridiculous fucking world. It's even yeah. more ridiculous than the ridiculous movies. <laughs> mm, I'm watching a series called The Boys, <coughs> which is about a very dysfunctional superhero group. They go around saving the world, well, allegedly, but they're real nasty bastards in real life, and there's a group that want to take down these superheroes who are real, really the villains, you know. <laughs> That's pretty good, though. Mm, pretty well done. Colorado Rental leaving the scene at Georgia, guys. The boys, you gotta watch it. Three seasons. I'm up to season, halfway through season two. And yeah, it's, it's, the characters are great. Yeah. Carl Urban, play, you know, he's one of the main characters. He's, he's a real tough bastard. Yeah, well, maybe they do, do make some decent movies and films nowadays. You just, uh, uh, just don't watch them anymore, really. <laughs> and this one sort of mocks the woke community a bit, actually. It's funny. I'm not much of a movie watcher these days. <laughs> it's a series. Uh huh. Oh, a TV series. Yeah, I don't watch it either. Eight, yeah. eight episodes per season. Something like that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, whatever, right. whatever keeps you entertained, man, right? Yeah. yeah. It's easy to follow. Lots of action. Fight scenes are good. Uh, uh, and, uh, yeah. That's good, man. Fucking raining again outside. Nice. 
We can always use that extra moisture, even though it's unsafe to drink. You're out there drinking that rainwater. The other day, my dog right. tried to drink out of a puddle. I was like, no! If you double filter, it's okay. 1 p.m. I feel bad enough letting him drink out of the fucking Boulder Creek. Which comes right out of the mountains. That's it's where all want to go get some air. It's not fucking immune to all the spraying going on. <laughs> you know? Definitely spray the fuck out of the mountains. Some say maybe to help the ski areas. Just to create water where they want. I don't know. Who knows how they do it? <coughs> I'm not saying that the, the weather's manipulated. I would I would never spread such misinformation. No. You know, but some people think that. That's all the only reason why I was saying it. Some crazy people yeah. on the internet. <laughs> so I've heard people yeah. talk about that sort of thing, you know. I'm not saying I, I, I it's true or anything. But mm. some there are those people out there that think. They're, they're, and, whatever they're doing up there is could have been it, it, it kind of coincides with the mega drought in the last 20 years it, it, it's, it's, the it's, whole 21st century has been the mega drought <laughs> you know interesting huh get yourself is that a flux, is that a flux capacitor Aussie? <laughs> no, it what looks like it but it's a jet engine it's a uh, <laughs> no no not quite it's a uh it's a water purifier. Ah, oh, is that the Berkey? Yeah, so it purifies the um that that candle in there purifies the fluoride. So all the water down the, the bottom tank gets uh, cleaned up, and you're left with some clear water. Mm. That's a good thing. Good cool. idea. Well, that's the secret. A big candle. Yeah, basically. Was it like a reverse osmosis and shit? Yeah, it's like it gets out all the shit out of the water and the heavy metals. Goes through really so. tiny, tiny little pores and shit. What does one of them yeah. set you back, Aussie? Oh, <laughs> does, it take about, time? does it take time to go through uh, there? I think I think this one was about a hundred or two hundred bucks, and then you got I think the candle's about fifty bucks. Wow. But you can reuse yeah. the can you can reuse the candle, right? You can just uh, get some wet and dry and um and just sand it off a bit all the oh, shit yeah. But, yeah it's not yeah, that good. bad i'm after a big filter uh, system uh, yeah it's not uh, too bad. if you want well. if you want so i could send you the family yeah they're drinking straight out of the tap you know and I, I, I'm shocked. so i've got to stop that you know they're going to kill themselves yeah well, if, if you want to send you the link, oh, maybe for this uh, company. Oh, hi, Jason. That one's was... definitely got the best reputation, hasn't it? <clears throat> for um, for water filters. Uh, yes. Yeah, so one theory about the Georgia Guidestones is that it was struck by lightning. Have you heard that one? Uh, I, don't think we're... I guess it's yeah, possible. Yeah, hey, I thought theory, I yeah. believe that man, but. Um, upon reflection on uh, what other people have brought uh, brought to light, pardon the pun, but uh, right to... yeah, the uh, the whole scene should have been full of light. You know what I mean? It should have lit up the whole the whole view of the camera, ah. you know, which it didn't. Mm. If you imagine if the, if lightning yeah, shoot, if, you know, if lightning that struck the ground in front of you in in the you know in darkness, mm. but everything around you would just be light. For that instant, you, think, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's how lighting you works. I took the whole sky. Lay claims to I took the whole too. world. If it was some radical Trump guy, you'd think they'd want to take claim for it, credit in some way. But no one's taken any credit or maybe some or... sort of energy weapon. I think more than likely. I'd say it was done purposefully. Uh huh. Yeah. Could have been. That's yeah. what. I, that, that's that's probably the most logical yeah. explanation I've heard. But what right, do I know? I'm not, I don't. I don't spread disinformation <laughs> on my channel, you know, or misinform. I don't want to misinform people. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely wasn't exploded. It wasn't exploded by, uh, by TNT or anything like that. No. 
Nah. Don't look like it, does it? Nah. From what I've seen of it, uh, it was solid. It was. I don't know. I wasn't it was All I saw was what was. You know, it's interesting that there was no camera pointed right straight at it. Was there? It's kind of like off to it the was side. It was aliens. It was aliens. 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 The camera pointed directly at it. Aliens. Mars. Mars attacks. <laughs> Mars attacks. It was a call for an uprising. Aliens. Have you seen a call it's, for but, an you know, it's another one of those things. Interesting timing, Channel. right? And then it was, it was tied into the mat, to the fucking CERN being started up like a day before. Well, um, this guy's been doing videos on YouTube for about ten years, and he has a cartoon at the start where it shows, you know, Baphomet and all that being kicked out of the place by Jesus, and then um, then it shows the gore. Gorgeous guide stones getting hit by lightning and blowing up, you huh. know. And Jesus kicked a bail and <laughs> beforehand or afterwards. This he's had this for years. This one, Before where the guide stones oh, yeah. and then yeah. no kidding. The day the Georgia guide stones blew up, his channel was pulled down, who, and he who was that? I think I've seen that. he wasn't allowed to yeah. use his intro. You know? What's wow. that guy's name? Um. A call for an uprising. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, a call for an uprising. This is a call for an uprising, yeah. and it's just a space for what they're yeah. doing. He, uh, That's yeah, he's fucking very, amazing. Uh, That's pretty amazing right there. He's quite yeah. entertaining. A, he has, he has, his intro actually shows the, the Georgia guy stones blowing yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> you can still see it. Yeah, um, on his older chat. Too much of a kawika dink. I oh, know he's got about six channels because they keep taking him down, and he's got one a call for pussy for glitter pussy glitter kittens. Yeah, they took a you channel. Know, he out. does a real mock of trending. I remember stuff, watching. You know? I've watched his videos, and yeah, <clears throat> a call for he's a, a he's a very <laughs> he's a very toxic um, personality. But yeah, I haven't seen him. In oh a yeah, yeah that's what I like. I think I left a smart ass comment to him one time, and he, <laughs> he or, doesn't I, play I, well I, with I, others. I think I like yeah. left a comment criticizing something on his video. And he fucking yeah. came back at me, man. Like he, he, <laughs> he shot me back a comment that was fucking toxic. Fuck. Oh, you a privilege. She got I was like, holy shit. Sorry, dude. I didn't mean to fucking piss you off so much. Just a, uh, I was just making jokes, making making a funny comment for people to read. And he got all upset about it. <laughs> uh, probably didn't get this the joke. Uh, yeah, he didn't like the joke that I made or something. He wrote me back something real nasty. <laughs> I like that other guy. I like that other guy that uh, he got me on to Ken. Uh, oh, Pockets of the was, Future, uh, Paul Romano. You know, Kyle. Paul Romano. No, nah, Kyle. Uh, Cole, Cole Dunnigan. Oh, Cole, Cole Dunnigan. Dunnigan. Cole did Dunnigan. You watch, Cole did Dunnigan. you watch his latest one? It's about the two male feminists. And, oh, God. It was no, no, no. I was watching that. You know, this, this uh, I think it's, it's Cole, uh, Dunnigan. This star, Cole Dunnigan made Sky, this, Sky News Australia, mate. The star, the star Trek thing. You know how they do the center for Star Trek? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, then, and then Michael Jackson's there. Star something, it was called. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Michael Michael Jackson there. He's like, I want to play with the children. Well, he's done one just the other day, and it's called Pussy Podcast. And oh, it's funny oh, these two, uh, Michael and Michael, and they just totally agree. Uber yeah. car with Colorado license plates. He says. What's interesting about Sky News Australia is more Americans watch Sky News Australia than Australians. Yeah, I know the Sky News even <laughs> showed Cole That's because 90% of Australians are stupid. <clears throat> Sky News showed a Cole, Cole Dunnigan doing Joe yeah. Biden. Yeah. Yeah, I was surprised. Yeah. Even they've picked up on him. Yeah, I started it. But they, yeah, they're, they're, our, they're our Fox News. They're the Australian version of Fox News, Sky News Australia. I've been watching Cole Dunnigan probably about two years now. Maybe two and a half. I like how they do. They do. Uh, they rip on Trump as well. It's funny as well. Boy, you shouldn't say his name. Yeah. Trans Trump. <laughs> That's a funny one. 
and Paul, uh, yeah, I like his Stallone impersonation, and uh, I like that. I like that other one. What's that? Uh, Bruce Jenner, but, uh, what's Caitlin yeah. or whatever her name. Caitlin. Bruce Gender. Yeah, well, Bruce, Brucey, Brucey. Uh, they call her trans. Uh, was it? Biden calls her uh, transgender or something. <laughs> Oh, what a bunch of BS, man. Transgender. <laughs> transgender. You know. Yeah, we're going to be talking about transgender. To, to play that role. Yeah, yeah. I, I take some coffee had, joke. You have to play that role. All right, my Wendell's name is what? Just... My name is who? My name is what? <laughs> you know, why would somebody at that age decide to do that? It just doesn't, it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah, why uh, would you? Go you know, on. and they're, they're already past the sexual sexual part of life, pretty much. You know, and they're gonna do that. It doesn't make any sense. Of course, it doesn't. None of it does. Joe Bladen. You know. <laughs> Blow Joe Bladen. Are you talking about? It's just for part to be a, in the show, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> the show must go on. I don't think it's any coincidence that there's I'm always the dumbest president so, in power when the fucking biggest shit is going on in the world, you know? Well, that's every president that I think. They're... Nah, but I mean, they make a They're point all, of it. I know? guess Obama wasn't dumb, huh? When 9 11 happened, you had George Bush. Oh, man, yeah. he was pretty dumb. Always yeah. tripping over. And then, uh, and then we had uh, Donald Trump. What happened when he was president? Yeah, Nothing he happened. shouted everyone at McDonald's. He you shouted everyone at McDonald's. President oh, yeah. right now, the Russians wouldn't be pulling this shit. They know better if I was president. That's what Trump said. Well, Donald Trump was Donald Trump was introduced to uh, to give people false hope of a, of someone who was actually going to change shit. You know? Yeah. He said if, if he was president, the Russians yeah. wouldn't have invaded Ukraine. <laughs> did you see, um, did you so see, funny. uh, well, that's probably true, but did you see his speech, his latest great speech? It was like, no. oh my God, he's uh, definitely part of the elite. You know, uh, he's in on it all the time. Well, it's true all because it's all up. a fucking script. Yeah. yeah. It is. He's a What's weapon. interesting? He's a how's, how's this for an interesting, an interesting tidbit, right, About Donald Trump's uh, raid on Mar-a-Lago, right? By the FBI. Okay. The head of the FBI, right? His name's uh, Ray, right? His last name. He was installed by guess who? Trump. It must have been the Russians or the Ukrainians. <laughs> the Ukrainians, or or was it the, the Kardashians? The Ukrainistan. No, no, right. The, the head of the FBI. The head of the FBI was was given his position by Donald Trump. Aren't the Kardashians uh, from some other what, what, uh, Iranian or something? Ah, uh, yeah, the father is. The one who was uh, the one who was murdered. Didn't it? I think they were just spawns of Satan, just come out <laughs> of pits of hell, <laughs> pulled out of the ground. I guess I don't know, man. I've never really followed them at all. I don't really know much at all about the Kardashians. It's weird. They're covered, covered in witches. Uh, I like the I like what Jason S has to say. He's uh, got a few good things to say. The Ukrainian, the goo Ukrainians. I call it Ukrainian. I call it Ukrainian. So I don't get copyrighted. My boy Hunty. What do you think? What do you think about that president? Everyone oh, he's great at playing the piano with his dick. Oh, <laughs> God, he, what an off person that one is. Oh, <laughs> he looks like that other guy, man. They were showing. Have you seen that picture? Fuck. He looks like his Sorry. son or something, or his, supposedly his. Well, all the money has been donated to him. You think he'd fucking go out and buy a new T-shirt? He's wearing Soros. the same T-shirt for fucking two years. Santa yeah. Soros. 
<laughs> Son of Soros. Uh, was it Soros? No, it was another guy. Yeah, sure. Maybe it was Soros. Soros. Yeah. I think they showed a picture of Soros when he was younger and he looked a lot yeah. like him. And you see a picture of Joe Biden when he's younger and he has no hair on his head. He's totally bald on the top. Huh. Now he's got hair on the top. Hmm. Now that he's 30 well, maybe he old. went to the hair man for fucking shit bags. Maybe he's got a rug. Maybe he's got a rug. He could have had an implant maybe, put on. Maybe, maybe, maybe he got. Maybe he got these. <laughs> maybe he got doesn't these. even look like the same. Banana must. Well, look at how banana, much money Donald Trump must have spent on his hair. <laughs> Goes for your t-shirt, Aussie. The same color. Hello, 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 mayday, mayday, <laughs> mayday, come in. Break a break a mayday. Remember, all the money that Donald Trump spends in his hair, he could spend up, pay off the national debt. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yeah, there. It's go funny because banana. there's an element of truth there, right? That's what makes something fun. Because <laughs> you know Donald Trump must spend he probably writes his hair off as a tax. As a business, a business yeah, expense. Business, business <laughs> expense. <laughs> Everybody knows my famous comb over. It's a business expense. I gotta, I gotta maintain that shit. <laughs> you know, a do like this, it doesn't just happen. It takes a lot of work. You see these strands right here? These are, these are twenty-four karat gold. <laughs> China. 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 Yeah, you know how much this costs. China. 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 <laughs> His hair is very like it does look like real gold. I wonder about <laughs> Star Trek where they trying to tell us something the Kardashians were an evil yeah. Nazi type <laughs> race. They could be a they could be a fucking race of beings on Star Trek. The Kardashians. Kardashians and the Kardashians. <laughs> What is it, sir? I think it's the Kardashians. Yeah. Just Send out hailing it. signals. They had all these big black <laughs> blue, blue bastards. Or gray. They were tailed by the Klingons. <laughs> well, they ended up becoming okay in the end. I think the Kling Klingons are all over Uranus, yeah. Captain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the good well, old Star that, Trek that, jokes. That, that, <laughs> Okay, guys. Well, next time. I'll, I'll see you soon. I'm going to go now. I'm going to get some food. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I'm going to come down soon, Ken. I'll see yeah, you soon. Cool. Cool, yeah. mate. Yeah. I'm, uh, oh, I can't go anywhere. Yeah. It's too dear. <laughs> yeah, mate. Nah, the morning gift's getting bad, so I'm a bit worried about that. It's What's that? Loud. The wine in my diff is getting loud. Yeah, I'm mate. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. She told that. me, yeah. Uh, and Unaki gold, yeah. It's gonna just that's seize what, on me soon. That's what Donald Trump's hair is made out of the Anunnaki gold. <laughs> you know, cool. I think you've got it all known to me. Uh, oh, see you, mate. You fly you soon. Right. Yes, yeah, okay. yeah, maybe this week, Parliament. Yeah, yeah, cool. No, I'll see you soon, mate. I'll come down, yeah. you know, after this. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that'll be yeah, interesting yeah. To, uh, to see if. Trump runs for president again. Yeah. Well, if he does, we'll know by next summer, probably. And war in Ukraine. What's this, what's this uh, 80 days? Is that like the midterm you've got? 80, so people are saying 86 days yes. or something. Then shortly yes, after the exactly. midterm, the, the next presidential campaign begins. You know, fucking shit show. Is it November? Our election's in November, too. Then they start oh, fuck. The next by the you know then, then then the candidates for the president start coming out of the woodwork and who's running? For oh, the Dan Andrews will get in again. He, he yeah, he'll up. get in. I noticed yeah, um, that uh, all the all the uh, small independent parties in Victoria they've uh, they've all put in their registration with the electoral Australian election electoral commission. Yeah. Not that it will make any difference, but you know, they've all they've all put their hats in the ring, including yeah. that Catherine Cummins woman. Mm, that thing. Not that it makes any difference, but they got to put on a show, right? They got to put on a show. That's what it's all about. 
is the show. Yeah, the, the dictator Dan will get back in because we're surrounded by morons. Victoria is full of morons, so he'll get back in. So they got to put on this <laughs> elaborate fucking show every few years to make it, you know, to make it seem like their system's legitimate. I'm so tired of it, man. Career politician. <laughs> Yeah, it will be interesting to see if Trump runs, but I, I, I don't think he will. But he probably will, because it would, be, it would stir up the most shit. After everything that happens, he's running for pre- after after January sixth. Man, these, these people are just act like that. Stop running today. A real big deal, January 6th, to these fucking people. Like it was, you know, that's like, it's very sensitive oh, about, you know. We know these, all these people want to, you know, question official stories, right, about the election and stuff. Not that I would ever do such a thing, but, uh, you know, it, 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 there's people out there that do. That don't believe in the, the results of the election, and hey, I you know, believe that the, the it's whole, a big the, lie. The whole Donald Trump agenda, you know, from the start of his, of, of his uh, selection, was a trap. <laughs> it was a, a trap, trap, you know. It was a it was a trap, and then they combined it with the Q and on bullshit, you know, which is all the. Military intelligence. That's why it's always right. Set a trap. You know? And now, and now they're going after. Uh, it's been announced, you know, on uh, American news stations. The whole, the same script is being run on every news station in America. That uh, they're going to start going Maybe after the world. QAnon supporters because they're all, they're all threatening civil war and fucking all this bullshit. They're all reading the same script, demonising. Trump supporters, Republicans, QAnon supporters, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, you got yeah, IRS agents with guns. You a leftist socialist. You know. It's really weird. Yeah, that's right. If you're not a, if you're not a, uh, if you're not a demon crap. I heard someone recently say that, yeah, you're no longer, the Republican Party is gone. Now it's the Trump Party. Yeah. <laughs> so. And he started, he started as a Democrat. He switched parties <laughs> before he, Fucking ran for president. So yeah, the whole thing is just ridiculous. What else can you say? Yep. <laughs> I'm wearing my tin for hat. Well, that'll keep you safe, Ozzy. If you got yeah. a fucking. You have to put it over your bananas. Your to keep your bananas right. He's got his. T- oh, I can't put the. <laughs> for some reason, I put a tin foil hat on my head, and my head gets starts getting hot. It's weird. <laughs> it gets too hot. Like some kind of electrical impulse going on between the brain. There's and um, there's a sponsor it, it of one channel that'll maybe it's because I got one, fillings in my teeth reacting with the tinfoil. Yeah, yeah it's not basic. It's a there's signal. a sponsor of one of the channels that I watch, man, and uh, they sell a range of hats called tinfoil hats. <laughs> tinfoil hats. That's a great idea. Yeah, and they're all uh, they're all baseball caps with uh, tinfoil written on it in all different colors, and I think just the brim. He's tinfoil, you know. Damn, that's what I need. I'll look that up. So then I can wear a tinfoil hat and it'll be comfortable. Yeah, it'll look pretty cool, man. Eh? <laughs> I would like one that's, you know, it would be cool to have a tinfoil hat that looks like the funnel on the Tin Man in, in uh, Wizard of Oz. <laughs> that's, that's a tinfoil helmet. Yeah, I think that would be that would be cool. Anyways, on that note, we could go ahead and yeah. wrap it up. No worries. Yeah, everybody. Thanks, thanks everyone, for being here. Jay Dick. Thanks, Eric. Thanks, Matt Foreman. Thanks, thanks, thanks everyone a, in the chat. Boy. Taking Please. a break from the ridiculosity factor, but who knows? It may come back. Thanks, Ozzy. Anyways, yeah. Thanks, Eric. Everybody, people yeah, watching so. in the future, yeah. go fuck yourselves. No. <laughs> Go. Good night. <laughs> the future is.